Hi guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Hopefully it'll be good now. Seems uh, like it was my gaming PC somehow that was tired. <laughs> Maybe it's because I've been playing Graveyard Keeper all day. Ugh. And my computer's like, uh, now we have to play Celeste too. What? No. Uh, let me know if it still does it. I'm not really sure what I'll do about it if it if it does, but um, hopefully it won't. <laughs> Hello, Zeno. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you, everybody, for sticking around. Appreciate it. And Izzy, hello, how are you? I'm sorry for running away from you. I did it just because I hate you, uh, actually. So, um, I, I, uh, I had to go and like get some therapy real quick for hating you so much. Oh shit. And uh, now I'm fine. Oh sh. She's better now? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I was panicking. I was panicking. I mean, you ruined the streak. Wow. Wait a second. What? What? Hi, Shane. Hi, Crystal, by the way. Thank you. Thank you for staying. I feel like that was the, that's the second time. Le yesterday I had technical difficulties with Mass Effect 3. And then today I'm having technical difficulties with C Celeste. Hello? So uh, I'm going to hopefully uh, be better next week. <laughs> It'll be great. You could almost say that your computer was gravely tired. <laughs> This kind of seems suspicious, right? Like, why is this happening? Is there a straub? Why are is, why is there fire there? Why is there fire there? Maybe it will follow you. No, it wouldn't do that to me. Don't talk like that. Oh, what? I don't really know like where the strawberry would be. And that seems impossible, so I'm kind of just going to give up on it. Um... Oh! Well, I'm fucked. Okay. Maybe the fire is actually strawberries covered in flaming hot sauce. There's so many strawberries. Oh my god. I need them. Maybe I need like uh, lemonade to uh, quench quench the lava. I mean, considering the secrets in this in this game, I wouldn't be surprised if I missed an entire section where you collect lemons to make lemonade to quench the lava straps. I don't I don't know, man. Anything could happen. I feel like I need to save one of my dashes for this, and then I need to use that thing to make to to make me push up. But it's hard to reach the top of that block before. I somehow need to like do that, but not like that, obviously. That definitely didn't help. Sheesh, what? Hey, the lol one. Welcome back. Back for the Celesta. Yeah. Good to have you back. I hope you're doing well. I hope you've had a good week. What? 
I assume that you've obviously done this chapter, right? Well, obviously you have. You've done everything. I don't get it! I don't get it. Bad week, he was full of school. I'm sorry. School is good though. Even if it sucks right now. It's it's good. It's worth it. Okay. Probably have to use that to boost myself in the right direction. Sideways, so I probably have to do that. <laughs> okay, gotcha. I gotcha. I feel like it's just the theme of the level that there's fire everywhere. I still flex my Celeste skills on my friend. <laughs> Hell yeah. Really? Okay, good. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> uh, why is there light up there? The light up there makes it seem like it's like the way forward, but with these fireballs, it makes it seem like that should be an extra room. I don't know what to think anymore. What are you, little sun? What are you? What's your deal? You don't react to that, huh? Okay. And that's not good either. Okay. I could just commit, go WhatsApp and send him dab. <laughs> you could, you could do that. This fire looks and sounds cool, but I'm sure it would be hot if I touched it. Uh-huh. Ah, fire isn't that hot. Mm. Go ahead and touch it, Crystal, it's fine. Um... What? Um, uh, what? I wonder if I, ha if I have to go from the other way or something. Maybe I have to go... to the top and circle around. Maybe this is progress and this is the way to the straub. But how the fuck to get through these? Like that kind of a butter. <laughs> You're not supposed to do this right now? You're not supposed to do what right now? Chapter 8? Or this fire thing. Oh, the berry. Okay. Abby is Tass. Duh. Oh, yeah. There's no difference between me and Tassbot. I'm actually, uh... I'm actually like an upgraded version of Tass, the one that can talk. <laughs> Fuck. This fire thing and the berry. Okay! Okay, fine. I expected that to boost me higher.
Why are they going kind of sideways? That's very inconvenient. God damn it. I don't think I was supposed to use a thing there. I don't think I was supposed to use a thing there. Actually, I can. I can use two. That's fine. I can use two. It's fine. I can do it. Ah! <laughs> it's terrifying. Okay. You know what? I'll just dash up. It's fine. I'll just dash up. There's nothing stopping me. Except fear! Oh no! <laughs> Crap. You know, it would be great if the fireballs would just do me a favor and get out of my way. Oh! Whoa! Wow. Later you will look back to this and be like, yeah, this is easy. I can see that this is easy. Yeah, I can see that this will be easy later. Definitely. Because it's not really, like, it's not complicated, it's just about finding the exact timing and positioning. Which is a little bit tough at first. Shit! Is this a B-side? Hey there, Cartridge Crazy, welcome! This is, uh, actually the 8th chapter. This is, like, uh... The seventh chapter is the end of the story, kind of. The game ends after the seventh, but then uh, the eighth one is kind of an extra thing, but not really. I don't know. It's like kind of a continuation. Only played a little bit of Celeste. Are you planning to play more of it, or did you give up? Ah, did it. I played the first two sections and the first B-side. I didn't even find the first B-side for some reason. B-sides are so horrible I can't even get past the Forsaken City first screen. B-sides are modded. They're modded? So like a player made? Oh my goodness, okay. Okay. I wonder if there's a bunch of hidden strobs around here that I haven't. Fine. But I haven't figured out how they're hidden. I'll, f uh, I'll finish it at some point. Cool. It's a very good game. It's a very good game. And I find that the story uh, is pretty great. We've had some really good conversations about it. Oh! Ow. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to... Uh, I didn't mean to do that. The music gets so peaceful. Yeah, LOL was well LOL was apparently like trying to speedrun this game and stuff. Even. Oh. Oh. Okay. I like how peaceful this music is now. Um blue dab da ba dee da ba da da ba dee I'm probably supposed to bounce on those or something. And they're gonna hurt me. Ah! Hey, thank you for the follow, Cartridge Crazy. Appreciate it. 
Do you want to be called? Do you want to be called Cartridge or Crazy or do you have a nickname you prefer? Like the story so far, it reminded me a bit of Night in the Woods, just with more platforming. Yes, I'm actually playing through Night in the Woods right now. I started it. I did one stream of it on Tuesday, and I'm going to be playing it every Tuesday from now on until I finish it. So I've only played it for like four hours. But it definitely has that uh, uh, serious theme. Normal chapter, but it's as if every room is worse than chapter nine. Ah. Any percent is what I'm trying to run when I did my first real run. Oh, nice. Did you do, do it this week? Man. Might as well just use a dash or two. Why not? And then not suck. Cartridge or card is fine. All right, great. One hour, ten minutes, forty-two seconds, like hundred fifty deaths. So many deaths. Hey, you have to start somewhere, right? You have to start somewhere, and then you can slowly cut it down from there, right? And I mean, one hundred fifty deaths is already a lot better than people do on a first playthrough. Okay. It is a try holding space. I don't I play with a controller. Just holding space. Also, he's been spending a lot on May time on, May on May's computer. Uh, I am very slow at games, so I I would be surprised if I'm halfway through the game. I just did the party. I spent some time on May's computer. That explains the the thingies everywhere. Wow. Well, all right. Oh shit! Holding jump then. Just do more and sometimes hold space. I'm not sure what you mean. What are you, what am I trying to achieve by holding jump longer? understand why these go to the side now. <laughs> Ow! Okay. I could just grab the wall. I'm not saying you when I'm not doing this again. Oh, okay. I will never go grow tired of people verbally responding to pain in a video game. It hurts, you know. It hurts in my soul. Ow. <laughs> Shut up. It's automatic. Shit. <laughs> I swear I didn't do that on purpose. You little shits. You little shits. Why you gotta be so in the way? I'm upset that there aren't any straws. I just want straws. 
Hello there, you little bouncy boy. That reflexive, shut up. Okay. Ah. Blah. Five straps in chapter eight. <clears throat> ah! I got the strob, that's what matters. Hold a space, jump, what? I am holding space. Also, please don't backseat game so much. There's there's some information that I want, but there's uh, uh, most things I really do want to figure out myself. So I would rather you just uh, ask me if I want help, and I will uh, let you know. Ah! Ah! Fuck! Oh, that was actually more manageable than I expected it to be. Oh, I can't change it back, okay. Ow. I expected to be able to change it back. Five straps is just the right amount for a smoothie. I'm stuck with fire now, yeah. I didn't really realize that it would be permanent. I thought maybe it was a toggle. That's what I get. Oh, what the fuck? I don't feel like I deserve that. It's a one-way toggle. <laughs> I almost died. Man, I'm upset about not getting my dashes back. This is the worst. strawberries. Actually, one strawberry. Oh! They explode. I forgot that they explode. I just expected it to fall down for a long time. Crap. I should have used my dash! Shit. Stupid. Alright, there's so much backtracking in this. I keep getting confused because I pass by things that I want to explore.
Wow. That's, this is going to be kind of rough. Somehow this triangular formation is worse than... If there were four, I feel like that would be easier. Because the circle wouldn't be so tight. Greetings, Avinots. Are you? Oh my god, Avinots. Hi, Yog. How are you? I'm glad to see you in chat. It's so nice to have you back. Are you still super duper busy? Is Avinots now what I'm gonna call my community? I kind of like this. I like this, like, ever changing community name. Just one day it's. It's, uh. The Avimals. <laughs> Aviators. Avinauts. I should just call you guys something different every day. Ah! Fuck! I can do this. I can do this. Just watch me! Just watch me do this! Fuck yeah. Oh my god! No! Ugh! Everything is fine! Everything is fine. Everybody can just calm the fuck down. Everything's fine. Avocados. That's the right one. I regretfully forgot the one you hate. The Avimals? Avimals? I don't even hate the Avimals. I just don't embrace it. something else and you were like please don't make this a thing <laughs> you should have written that down yog would have been a perfect chance to torture me oh shit i fucked up Missed opportunity. A Yogg memoir. <laughs> Balls. How's your work day going, Yogg? I assume you're at work. Much. I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. I need boost. I need to not use that boost. Ow. That's how I have to do it though, I have to uh, kind of get boosted so hard. <laughs> what the? That way. What? They're called dash. I know, I know, I know. But they're also boosts. If we're being real, they are boosts. How was Mass Effect 3? Mass Effect 3 was great. I was kind of low energy yesterday, so. Might have, might have been reflected in my stream a little bit. But uh, the game was also fun. I 
wonder if I want to get that. I don't think I do. I don't want to get the fire one ever, I feel like. Fire sucks! I got the fire one, guys. Good job, me! I definitely don't want to get it. I've uh, learned that for sure now. You're kidding me, right? Fire for drop? No, I don't need fire, but I do need two boosts. So I need to use the uh, little boosty thing, or maybe I do need fire. Uh, could you maybe not answer questions in the chat uh, when it's something that I haven't necessarily figured out yet, lol? Just to be sure that I get the chance to figure things out myself. I'm not sure if I need fire for the uh, for the thing. Oh, it's my bad, should have held the question. Nah, nah. It's not your job to be careful. I did it again, really? Could you stop punching me, you ice things, you jerks? I just realized that Abby really is Tass. Because I'm so pro. What am I what am what am I doing? Sorry, what? Yeah, I know how to do it. Where you see I was wrong. Oh. Let's not talk about that one. Yes! Finally. Hey, Mocker. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Hello, hello, hello. I was hiding, that's why. How are you today, Mocker? Wow. I don't want to use a dash. I think I do need to use a dash. I don't need to use a dash. I do not need to use a dash. Hey, I'm gonna use a dash anyway. 
Whoa, what the fuck's happening? Jesus. Good, good, playing Metal Gear Solid 5, aka Animal Rescue Simulator, that I saw you were on. <laughs> Don't want to dash, just don't. It's impossible. I can't just control what I do. Animal Rescue Simulator. I've kind of started second guessing the fact that I said that I'll play the Metal Gear Solid games because you guys, I keep you guys keep talking about how much bullshit sexualization and crap there is, and I'm like, like yeah, I get it. The game is supposed to be really good in other ways, but I'm gonna get so fucking annoyed by it. I'm gonna sit there and be raging the whole time. And somehow I don't think that would be a very fun stream for you guys. Whoops. First time playing Metal Gear Solid 5. Got to forever go and play two missions and then quit so I restarted. It's okay to skip the Metal Gear Solid series. I do have, uh, I mean, there are several people around here who really love it and would like to see me play it. But I'm not really sure. We'll see. I feel like there's an instance of it in all of them, but it's not all over the game or anything like that. Okay. From what I, from what you guys have, from the way you guys have acted around it, it sounds like it's exceptionally irritating. Fuck. Fuck. It gets better, to be honest, as the years go by, they realize more and more... needed for the care that it's needed for any game to work, to be honest. We know you have a very low tolerance for it, so we don't want to undersell it. That's fair. That's understandable, yeah. Good rest of your day. Oh, no, I needed that crystal. Crystal! Get back here. Crystal, you are needed! Been lurking. You can't just be lurking when I need you, Crystal. In the world? What in the world? Don't appreciate that. I do appreciate, I do appreciate uh, you lurking though. <laughs> I was literally typing right before that happened. So far in five, I'm having fun just capturing all the animals and rescuing them back to my ocean base. Sounds sounds cool. I like that kind of mechanic. Why did I use all my dashes? I need to keep one dash for. No. I need to keep one dash for. Um... Getting the next crystal. I stalked Scorpion for a whole in-game day, the fool. Should have known you were going to capture it. I'm so annoyed, I swear. I've gotten, I like, I got the hang of it and then I lost the hang of it again. 
No! Piece of shit. One game day is also one real life day. He really wanted the scorpion. Yeah, in the game, a whole... Only a single game day goes by in 24 hours of game time. Sounds reasonable to me. Everything is fine! Fuck! <laughs> Whoa! I bought diapers just for this moment! <laughs> I stalked a scorpion for a whole day. The fool. Really? Gotta tell you, Snake, I think you've been in the field a little too long, buddy! You gotta buy... You gotta buy diapers. Sometimes. Oh! <laughs> there is safe. That saved me one death. Ah, I'm so mad. Urgh. He was chilling in a Russian camp. What was I going to do? Let him defect. Let him def 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 <laughs> Ah, dear. so bad with makeup, but I think the way I normally do my eyeliner will work for the musical. I don't know. I'm so stressed about this. It'll be fine, Crystal. Do it the way you normally do it. It'll be great. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's not worth the stress. It's not going to make enough of a difference to matter. You shouldn't stress. But I understand, I understand being stressed about that kind of thing. Oh! Ah, I almost saved it. We're not getting paid anyway. Exactly, you don't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be like top tier, absolute, perfect. Fancy ass musical specific eyeliner. Ah, Krant with the Raiders. What's up, everybody? Hello. Thank you so much. No solving to be performed. No solving to be performed. I don't even know what that means. Thank you so much for the raid, Krant. I appreciate it. Hello, Stripes. Hello, Bart Balthier. How was your stream? To be problemed. No solving to be problemed. Hey, Shbag. Thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. You want to shout Karant out, Zero, for me? What did you do today? Super Mario Maker 2. Nice. You're still doing that. I really... I really look forward to playing that at some point. Whoa! When I eventually get a Switch. How have you been? How has everyone been? Oh, well, I started the story mode in Super Mario Maker 2, then played viewer levels for the second half. Nice. You know, I didn't even realize there was a story mode. <laughs> I've never even heard of story mode in Super Mario Maker. Ah, I'm so upset.
Which will be when Rune Factory 4 gets released. Yeah, it will. It will. By the time Abby gets the Switch, they will be on Super Mario Maker 4 for the Super Switch. <laughs> you know, if it wasn't for Rune Factory, you would be totally right, Mocker. But there's Rune Factory to take into consideration here. Rune Factory for the Switch sounds awfully impatient. You know what? You know what, Zeno? I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna leave the Patient Gamers Discord. I'm just gonna leave forever. And you can't stop me, and then I'll buy all the early access games. So there. All of them. Every single one of them. <laughs> Wait, no! That wasn't my intention! I'll start my own Patient Gamers Discord with Blackjack and Impatient Gaming. <laughs> it's basically just playing a bunch of Nintendo-made levels. Okay, how are those? Do they, uh, are they uh, good at making uh, Super Mario Maker levels over there at Nintendo? Shit, I fucked myself over. Sounds like me. Yeah, I'm I'm always like, oh, I really want that console, but then I can't justify it to myself buying it until two generations later. <laughs> I bought a Wii U, actually one generation later, actually, but uh, I'm exaggerating for, for effect, okay? Oh, fuck! So I got a Wii U when uh, the Switch came out, so I could play Breath of the Wild right away. <laughs> Don't tell the patient gamers. They know about it. I talked. I've talked about it multiple times. You are forbidden from leaving. Who's the boss over on Patient Gamers? You know, you or me? You or me, Zeno? You know. Who forbids who? Page gamers are a fucking cult. They always do this. <laughs> Who's gonna keep base in check? Uh, that's the that's the problem. That's why I haven't left already. I've been wanting to buy all of the early access games for quite some time now. But then uh, base would be out of control. Base, shut up! Shut up! Ugh. I'm in denial about that. They're not bad, to be fair. I wouldn't have a Switch at all if my best friend hadn't bought me one. That's how I am with my 3DS. My brother actually bought me a 3DS. The only reason I have one. I'm very glad I have one. Very, very glad. Because two of my favorite games, like in, in my, literally in my top three games, two of them. Actually three of them. Fuck. All three of my favorite games exist for the 3DS. Fantasy Life, Rune Factory 4, Majora's Mask. Oh! Not necessarily in that order. Majora's Mask is at the top. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I feel like, I mean, it's good that uh, Nintendo makes decent Super Mario Maker levels. I feel like uh, with a game like that, Viewers are probably usually gonna surpass um. Oh shit I fucking did it! Finally Viewers are probably gonna surpass uh, the maker of the console very quickly usually That was a tough room I actually bought Brimworld in early access. Wow, I'm gonna ban you. You can still be impatient while being in PG. Looks at a collection of impatient games I currently own. You have an entire collection of impatient games? Can someone do the PG command, by the way? Exclamation mark PG. Just so that anyone who doesn't know about the patient gamers community could uh, join it if they so wish. It's a subreddit with a Discord. I'm mostly active on the Discord. It's a it's a great community. <laughs> Don't spread their lies. 
it's really a wonderful community. It's like my first, uh, it's like my top, top gaming community. Oh shit. Shit. I will just have two to three impatient games that I bought and have yet to unwrap from the plastic. Which ones? Just so that I can uh, fill out my report. Oh, what? I'm actually going to topple base escapes rule eventually. And to her, and you are going to help me. Oh, really? Really? How are we? How are we though? How are we really? Fill out the report on why you banned me. Yeah. Oh, what? I didn't. I wasn't close enough to, burp, to, to, to grab it. He's doing some hybrid patient gaming by buying impatiently, but playing patiently. I've, uh. I have never done that. I don't think I've ever done that. Timing is off. Cargo already joins the server and bans us all. There always has to be an owner, and Gargoyle won't get owner back. Actually, yeah, Gargoyle used to be the owner. Shit. So if we kick base out, I don't know where the owner role goes to. Fuck. Avenue Love Buttro. It's after all called patient gaming, not a patient buying. Imagine if it was called patient buying. Imagine how stupid that would be. <laughs> Imagine what a dumb name that would be. What a stupid fucking name. Oh shit. Nope. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. I swear, Gadana would just do this stuff in one try. Ugh. I'm not salty. I don't think I can get that without a boost. I'm fucked. And b by boost, I mean dash. Dehuri is gonna be my right hand man, and when I'll topple base escape off his throne, I'll make him my favorite mod. Huh. That sounds, so sounds like a difficult task. Considering you, neither you nor Tahru have any mod powers on the Discord. What kinds of things do you accept as bribery? You're just getting started early there, huh, Zeno? Fuck. What kind of butts do you butt Seft as a bribery? Did somebody say my name? Buttro? What? Wait, that's not for real, is it? Someone just made that account. Hello, Buttro. If you if no if if you really were here. If you really were here and didn't just create that account, that's incredible. But welcome. <laughs> Ow. I accept big butts. And I do not lie, them other brothers can't deny. When a butt walks in. When a butt walks in. 
I am so upset. I am so upset. You think they're going to bust put on fire? It's on fire today. Yeah, it is. You think they're going to accept a person who buys and plays brand new fighting games as a PG leader? Right? Hell no. Imagine, imagine if they play, if they had someone who played the Spyro Reignited trilogy the moment it came out as a leader. <laughs> imagine if that happened. <laughs> base, <laughs> base. <clears throat> that would be ridiculous if that were to happen. Terry's not gonna be the new leader. I shall be the new leader. Today we've got load in built in build for the set. I'm worried about being useless because I can't lift stuff and have no building skills, but we might be running scenes at some point. And my friend might be doing a trial of my hair for me. I hope I can help with moving the costumes because I'm realizing that even though I can't saw yet, I really like putting together costumes. Yeah. Dude, I'm sure you'll be able to help in some way. I imagine that with putting together a set like that, uh, they don't necessarily need a lot of people who are very good at like building so much as manpower. Yeah, and you're complicit. Mocker, do you like lurk on the Patient Gamers Discord all the time? Because I swear, you've never talked there. Unless I'm a, a really bad mod and just haven't noticed you talking. Uh, I'm gonna go insane! Arr! Let's just do it this time. Let's just do it perfectly this time. Watch. Watch me do it perfectly this time. We're doing it. Watch. Don't miss it. Fuck. <laughs> I can do it so much easier if I just am more patient about it. What? What? It'll apparently be painting. Perhaps I should bring a mask. Yeah. As in like a f one of those face masks to uh, prevent the fumes from the paint from getting in your mouth? Or you mean like a mask? Like, is that what you mean? Oh shit. Ah, oh, that's the fifth millionth time that I die in that exact spot. Let's just nuke the whole PG Discord and start a new. We're immune to nukes, actually. That was the first research the research we got was nuke immunity. Man. There will be a, apparently a painting a patient type for Borderlands 3 and Pokemon and Outer Worlds. What's Outer Worlds again? I recognize the name of that, but I don't remember what it is. <clears throat> I'm making a face. I am making a face. I haven't finished this room like six times now. I just die stupidly at the very end every time. Here we call that making your own group, nuking the PG Discord. Death Star it then. <laughs> Happy Friday the 13th. Glad that it corresponds to the harvest moon here on the west coast of the US. The harvest moon? What does the harvest moon entail? You know what? My soul is dead. I have no more emotions about dying that, that exact spot. 
I have no more emotions at all. I am dead inside. I am now dead inside. I actually really like this room. I just hate that I keep dying stupidly. Like that. Planning on co-oping Terraria with Marvelous Max tomorrow. Nice. I played a bit of uh, Terraria recently for the first time in quite a few years. I had, hadn't played it for like six years and we did one stream of it with Axel and Kira. And who else? Did Ta join us? Ta joined us. God damn it. Offshoot of Fallout from the Obsidian. There's, there's, that is a full moon in September. We have names for them. Okay, just standard old full moons in September. Gotcha. Is it because uh, in olden days would people like harvest their crops on that day because the night was more lit up? It happens every time! I can't do that part without hitting that particular fireball. You're eating. Outer Worlds is a sci fi shooter? Okay. I got it and played it, I just couldn't get into it. Gotta play Terraria with others for it to shine. I had some great times with some friends. I I mean, yeah, the, the main reason I had fun with it last time was that I was playing it with people. But, um,. It's really... I'm just tired of that kind of game, to be honest. Fucking finally! Oh shit! Okay, we're doing the lava thing. Alright, that's fine. Alright, we're doing the being bad thing. September is just the start of the harvest season. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. All right. I went pretty slowly there. bad. I want a fresh and exciting new mod pack to dive into with Minecraft. Yeah. Don't you always? <laughs> I guess like you stream. Okay, okay. I'm off to do my grocery shopping for the week. Thanks for the stream. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much for the raid, Karant. I really appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day. It was good to see you again. I suddenly switched to my analog stick instead of my D-pad for some reason. That didn't help my cause. Whoops. Huh! Oh dear. Dashes left. Shit. I thought I. I don't know why I thought I had dashes left. Is 
Maybe I should only use one at that point so I have more than one dash left. Nah. I'm fine. It keeps going. Fuck. Really? Oh dear. Man. I'm feeling like I shouldn't be dying this much to be honest. I should not be dying this much. At least it being ice slows it down. Okay. What? Oh, I can't. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Just be really difficult. That's not, that's totally fine. are hurting. My hands are hurting. Hey! I didn't even see who it was. I am having trouble looking at the screen right now. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Last of Avari. It's been a while. How are you? Thank you so much for the 11 bits. You can do it with believe in you. Thank you. Appreciate that. This is, uh, this is tough. <laughs> Ow. Oh, shoot. Yeah, not good. Just a Friday evening? Is it a good Friday evening? All right. Shit. Vaguely reminded of the escape sequences, the escape sequences in Warrior, yeah. That's, they definitely are a bit reminiscent. <gasps> Shit, really? Not a terrible one, so that's already a plus, for sure. Perfectly average Friday evenings are uh, are important to have now, then, right? Shit. Observation: When you respawn, if you don't move, it looks like the lava slash ice doesn't rise up. Really? Oh, you genius! Thank you for that. Pointing that out, you know. Thank you. Yeah. That does give me- I mean, I could have just paused it too, but, uh, that is good to know. I'm clipping that. You should. You should clip it. Zeno, clip it all. Okay. Okay, my- my left hand really hurts. It really does. Sorry, what?
Looks like he's off the tie. Thank you for the greeting. Hope like you is doing well. I'm sorry. What? How am I supposed to do that? Confused. I'm not actually asking you, chat. I'm just I'm just being very confused. I somehow need to not use my two dashes? I mean, if I had more speed, uh, maybe I would bounce further somehow. For me to go to sleep. Okie dokie. Good night, Shane. Hope you have a good rest. I have to look at what that area looks like before I hit the, the fire switcher. To not turn it into ice somehow? There's no way I can get over there without turning it into ice. Never mind. Did I do a frame perfect jump? Oh! Holding in A when I'm on them. Wait. Holding in A when I'm on them makes me jump further. Holy shit. I did. Okay. Maybe that's what Lol was trying to tell me earlier. But I didn't know when he was referring to. He or she. I actually don't know Lol's gender. Holy shit, okay. That changes things. I shouldn't be doing that there. part mastered before, but obviously now that I've figured out how to progress, I no longer have it mastered. That's how it works. Woo! Sorry, what? Ah, crap. Stop aching! crap you have two and a half hours of streaming left this is early for aching hands that's true i need like another game to play on celeste's halfway through my stream 
Ooh, I have tea. That I haven't been drinking. Just a second, let me drink. I'm using my, uh, my, I think, G to play live, uh, Tumblr that I got as a, as a, one of those fundraising reward thingies. And it's gigantic, and it has, like, a total of two cups of tea in it that's been standing here since the beginning of my stream. And it's still hot! So, uh, you go. You go, Saint Jude Tumblr. You go. Get them compression gloves. Yeah. Like a pro gamer. Shit. I do have to do use my boost a dash up there. Ah, wow, okay. I have to not jump on that. I don't have to use my Holy shit! Did you guys see that holy crap clip it? And then that happened, but still. Hey, Polly! Can we name the... <laughs> Can we name the Tumblr Coco Glen Coco? <laughs> yes. Of course. Okay, what? Oh, I have to press A again. Yeah, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it! You go, Glen Coco, you go. God damn it! How are you today, Polly? Do you have anything fun planned for this weekend? Oh, that was so close. Balls. Okay, that's fine. Let me drink some more tea. an A. That changes so much. What? That was, that was an impressive striper. Thank you! Ah! Shit. I'm trying to figure out tasty things to cut cook for my girlfriend's weekly meal prep this weekend. Do you do meal prep with her every weekend? Oh, shit. Hey there, chat Celeste. What's up? Chat Celeste? Is this like a an account just for chatting in Celeste streams? <laughs> How are you doing? Welcome.
Oh, shoot. No! Crap! It's French for celestial cat. Chau Celeste. I don't know how to say it in French. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna stop because it's probably condescending to even try. Taco wraps are always good. Like you can't go wrong with uh, with uh, taco wraps. You can't have strawberry cheesecake every day. You can't. You can though. You can. You know. Have you ever tried? Have you ever given it a serious try? Do you know? Have you ever given it a serious try? Because until you have, I don't think you can say with such confidence that you can't have. Strawberry cheesecake every day. <gasps> no, you are shitting me. The Celestial Cat is a lovely name. have waited so long. You're pretty close. I was pretty close a few times. I missed a few here and there, but I try to help her every Sunday. That's wonderful of you. Meal prep seems like it ends up being a lot of work on the day when you do it all. Made cheesecake in an instant pot a couple weeks ago. Might give it another go. Cheesecake in an instant pot. Nice. Okay, everyone. Let's brainstorm food suggestions for Polly's girlfriend. Other than cheesecake and taco wraps. Everyone loves this instant pot pressure cooker thing. Yeah, aren't those like pressure cookers like super fast at cooking food? You could do like some kind of chicken curry. Chicken curry is always delicious. Oh shit. It's a nice idea, right? Isn't it? And I feel like curry would be great for meal prep. Because it's not gonna like get old. How did you come up with that? Shut up. <laughs> we didn't eat that yesterday. We definitely didn't eat that yesterday. Correct. I ate it yesterday. I literally, I guess both of us didn't eat it yesterday. I guess I ate it yesterday and you didn't. Oh, what? Personally, don't mind prepping food, but it stresses her, so I try to help. I get that, yeah. That's nice of you to help her. Oh, shit. All I can think of is egg rolls. Egg rolls would be nice too. Everyone just say what's like your go-to meal meal to have. What is everyone's go-to meal to have when you're like feeling really lazy one day and you don't want to cook? Part of me. I still have some Japanese curry roux I need to use. Ooh. Spaghetti bolognese. Pizza. Pork chops. 
Just make all of those things, Polly. Just make pork chop pizza with pizza bolognese as dipping sauce. I don't know how to say that properly. I only used the instant pot for pot roast. Boiled eggs and cheesecake so far is pretty cool though. How fast can it cook? Uh, how fast can it cook uh, boiled eggs? This is really cool. Oh. Oh, Polly! You the real. Thank you for the six months, Polly. Holy crap. I appreciate it. It's very nice of you. Thank you. Last of Ari, thank you for the 11 bits. I'd watch the last mostly for the story and lovely characters. Thankfully, I decided not to play it myself because it would have caused unnecessary hate and frustration. Yeah, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a harsh game for sure. I must take my leave. Enjoy the game. Thanks for the stream. Thank you for being here, Crystal. Take care. Bye. Do 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 do. Lazy and don't want to cook. I just lay down and starve. <laughs> that's how. That's kind of how I feel. That's how I do too. And then Zero comes along and makes food for me. <laughs> lasagna makes lasagna with some veggies to make it more light. Yes, dude, you have to try lasagna in a pressure in a pressure cooker. But yeah, but yeah, Celeste does have a wonderful uh, story and characters, and very good music. So it's... I can I can see watching it for those... Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I... I done fucked up. Oh no, I should have waited. Actually, this is fine. Perfect! Dude, this is so cool! I love this section! All right, so I have to be fast. Recipe most people like for boiled eggs is five minutes in the cooker, five minutes for the pressure to go down, then five in ice. I don't know if it's faster, but they do come out for perfect. That's that's not faster at all. That's like twice. That takes like twice as long. <laughs> I wonder what the devs were thinking when building these levels. They were thinking, "Fuck you, and your soul. Let's kill both of you." Lasagna or pasta in a pressure cooker would be interesting. Yeah, you should try it. Just out of like curiosity for how it turns out. Shit. How do I get there that fast? What? Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Not like that. But I get it. I see, I see, I see. I see, I see, I see. Ah! <laughs> I bet those dev souls are quite dark. They must be. Thank you for the 11 bits. Mm -hmm. 
Oh god, I didn't see it. I saw it there last time, but then I died and forgot about it. Ah, no! Oh man, so close. Oh my goodness, I love this place. Holy shit, I love it so much. I have to use analog stick for this part. This was quite annoying for the chapter where this was like the main feature. There were many spots where you went back and forth between between um, normal platforming and just flying around with this thing. Which ended up being kind of rough. Hey Monty, thank you for the lurk. I hope you're doing well. And it was really tough because uh, I like this is really hard to do with a D-pad. And platforming normally is really hard to do with uh, anything but a D-pad. Oh shit. Intense. Oh, now you're starting, huh? No! Ah. <laughs> Whoops. Oh shoot, this is confusing. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Okay, I can get this timing down. I can get this timing down. I'm not getting it down, I'm like doing worse. Every time. Oh crap. Oh, I forgot I can't jump on the fireballs. Yes, B side. Cool. But this was just on the path, on the normal path. It wasn't like a offshoot secret thing, I think. Yeah, what? Weird. Okay. Thank you, Havari. Appreciate it. What? This is it? This is what's at the center of all this? It's so empty and vast. Oh! Yet it feels nostalgic somehow. And peaceful. Yay! Heart of the Mountain. Okay then. 
I guess I finished the core. Aw, that's pretty. Two deaths. There we have them. There we have them. <laughs> I think I have to go like look for the B-sides for the earlier chapters, because I'm... Hello there, chapter 9. Did I just go for chapter 9 right away, or should I do look for the B-side for chapter 1? <laughs> hey, watermelon. Hello. How are you? How is everyone this fine day? I am doing well today. Thank you. Is work still hectic? Yeah, I still didn't find the B-side for the first chapter. Which is weird, because I've actually gone through it twice. The second time I was looking for like secrets and extra stuff. Hmm. <laughs> See no. 331 bits, thank you so much. One for each of the deaths. <laughs> Appreciate it. See, that's a nice consolation prize. Chapter 9 is pretty difficult. I'd clear all the B-sides first. Okay, cool. Will do. In that case, I will go look for the first B-side. We'll see. I should have looked more carefully. Oh, there they are. There they are. If anyone who hasn't played the game before sees a uh, secret. Actually, if I like walk past the room that has um, the B-side secret in it. If I walk past it, if I like leave it, feel free to let me know. Like, I want a chance to find it myself, but I don't want to, like, redo this thing a million times. Look for it, you know? Uh, I'm not seeing any secrets. I guess the problem is that uh, once I walk past, I can't usually go back. I'm gonna get back to work and hopefully leave relatively early today. Take care, Abby, take care, chat. Thank you for hanging out, Zeno. I hope the rest of your day isn't stressful at all. Secret, for those of you who know the game, is this a secret that I need to figure out? Or like, even if I don't need to, is this a secret? <laughs> it's not? Okay, great, thank you. It's such a... such a... misdirection thing. I wanna try- oh, I feel like up there might be... Nope, that's not it. Oh! Have I gotten this? Is this just a strop? It is. It is just a strop. And nothing to see here.
darn. That could have been a thing. Could have been a thing. It was possible. And I'm pretty sure that one down there is a secret that I've gotten already. And this is where I meet Theo. For the first time. Pretty sure I checked over here if there are any secrets. Oh! God damn it, that's the third time! Oh! That's the fifth million time! I've d died at that spot so many times. It's shown on the stat screen where the cassette is FYI along with the straps. Is it really? Is it really? Okay, is it in, uh, could you just, could you tell me then which section it's in? Is it in the first section, uh, or the second or the third? If you feel like telling me. In the last section? Okay, cool. I didn't realize. I'll look more closely next time. Good to know. I'm not sure where I am right now. Well, that's where I am, I guess. <laughs> I have three more strobs until the one that I missed. Three more strobs before the one I missed. Okay, cool. Let's keep an eye on the strobs. Oh shit, this place is confusing though. That was where the sneaky secret was. There might have been a strop over there. I don't remember. And here's definitely one. So that's one or two? gotten this. Yeah. Can I go back? So that's three. That's something before we start the chapter. Yeah, yeah, I realized that. I gotta go. Bye, gamers. Bye. Uh, chat or Celeste or whatever. Whatever you like to be called. The straw could be anywhere before the next one that I found already. Oh, could it be there? No, I must have gotten that. So I've probably missed it already. Shit. I probably missed it then. Sad. Yeah. Darn it. Must be a sneaky one. Okay, I wonder where I am. Ah, 
I'll grab this strawberry to check where I am. No! I think you've missed it, although I don't know for sure which one it is. Based on my count, I felt like I must have missed it, but I obviously could be wrong. Oh, I'm already in the last section. No, I meant the I meant the strawberry that I missed, the one that's in the middle section. The cassette, I have no idea. I better not have missed it already. Same, I said that three screens ago. Oh, okay. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Going back. No. I don't think this is a secret. I think. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go this way. Let's go this way and see. I don't think I've been here for a few tries. Can I just find it now? Thanks. Strawberry. I kind of vaguely, distinctly remember it. Wait, though. Wait, though. What's up with that path up there? What is that? Man up, energy drink. Uh. I'm not seeing how I would get up there. I feel like it must be a place I get to through some other way. I don't see it. Yeah. Cough. Cough! Did I miss it? Was it there? I'm not saying you missed it, but <laughs> oh, oh, holy fuck! That is that. Oh, maybe you missed it. Thank you, Izzy. Appreciate it. <laughs> that was fucking sneaky. Sheesh. Yes! Awesome. Is it actually permanently unlocked now? Can I just save and quit? Or like... Do I have to finish... The level? I can just save and quit? Or like... Restart or return to map? I mean if I save and quit, it'll just take me to the main menu. But I can return to map now? Or no? That'll save. Okay, great. Thank you. Save your progress, but you must restart at the last checkpoint. Oh, okay. I didn't know I could re continue at the same checkpoint. That's cool. Alright, time for chapter one B-side. My hand doesn't hurt anymore from chapter eight, so we'll be good. It'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, we'll be totally fine. Ugh. Are there 
strawberries here. I guess not. Are there never any strawberries and these and besides? Giving me a headache. Woo! Oh dear. I might not need my dash, so maybe I can use my dash immediately. Hey there, the real dimp. What's up? How are you? Yeah, this is this is really fun actually. Oh dear. I just finished the eighth chapter and I went back and found the uh, the B side for the first chapter, which I had missed in the first playthrough, and uh, it's very fun. It's definitely easier than the other B sides, obviously, but. That's just makes that makes sense. All right. Have you been playing Celeste? I'm good. I started Blind Three play, play through a few days ago. I'm saving B sides for him. What is that? I can't talk. That makes sense. I actually played through the whole game before I did any B sides. The B sides are all pretty much harder than even the last chapter. I think maybe. How do I want to do this? It's harder than the main chapters, at least. It's harder than, like, up to chapter 7, I think. Hmm. I need to use a dash here, I think. I do, I do. I do. <laughs> My brother's a big fan of this game. He told me chapter 9 took him 12 hours and over 2,000 deaths. Holy shit. Wait, Izzy, you've been playing chapter 9, right? I saw you were talking about it. Ah, oh, crap. Well, I see how I'm supposed to do it now. Shit. <laughs> you said you, start you turned on assist mode for it getting the feeling that I'll probably am gonna have to do that too. Uh, but I'll hate to do it, man. I watched a run on YouTube and decided never to never try again. <laughs> they teach speedrunning tech. Ah. Oh shit. Really? Wait, does the does the ninth one require any weird speedrunning tricks or is it just really fucking hard without it? So how are you liking the game, Dimp? You enjoying it so far? Oh, uh, what? Oh my god, okay. All right. What in the world?
Oh my god, I have to get over there that fast? No. What? Requires wall bounces and wave dashes. That means nothing to me. <laughs> you also need to have 15 hearts to play the second two thirds of it. All B-sides and secrets. Holy crap. 15 hearts is all of the hearts? Like all, all of the hearts? So I have to, I have to be really quick and get over there. Oh my god, okay. I'm loving Celeste, the music might be my favorite part. The music is very good. The music is really, truly excellent. It's a DLC catered for the top 0.5% and they're super happy with it, so good for them. Oh shit. I definitely will not be able to pull it off then. I mean, I'm probably not gonna, if I if I end up uh, wanting to give up, I will probably just watch like a normal playthrough of it, not a speedrun. But I guess, are all normal playthroughs of it now speedruns? Sure. That looks kind of secretish, but it wasn't. Oh my goodness, come on. How did I do this last time? I must have grabbed onto the wall for a second. Or not. The next AGDQ should be good though if Celeste gets a spot. I feel like it probably will. Seems like kind of I feel like Celeste is gonna be a kind of staple staple speedrunning game for a while. God damn it. I love a challenge and I can't let my brother beat me out, so I'm definitely going for it. Hell yeah. Well good luck with it. How the huh how the how the Frick did I get over there last time? What? Ah, I just did a normal dash. This room is giving me flashbacks. Did you struggle the same way I did? I just figured out what I have to do at least. Managing to duck at that exact spot. <laughs> this game, this game is absolutely good if you love a challenge, though. This is, like perfect game for you. Just finished playthrough of Hollow Knight, another good challenging game. I loved Hollow Knight. I really loved Hollow Knight. I played it on stream for 70 hours. <laughs> I never did end up finishing the DLCs, uh, the Godmaster DLC and all that. Um, I kind of got to a point where where I had looked up a few secrets and things, and because I had completely run out of things to try to find on my own without running around blindly in the gigantic map looking for- God damn it! Looking for some tiny little secret that I missed. Piece of shit! Piece, piece of shit! I love you, Celeste. I'm not calling you a piece of shit. Only this room. Only this room is a piece of shit. On the same boat with Hollow Knight, got to 100% but didn't finish DLC, downloaded C Celeste, and got sucked in. Yeah. 
That was the thing, it's like, stop being really fun to stream it. I was kind of thinking that I might play Hollow Knight a bit off stream. Um, God damn it. But I never ended up doing that. I have to dash. I have to dash. What? I've lost my focus. Come on. Okay, come on. Okay, we're doing it. This is the time. First try, let's go. Come on, first try, let's go. Oh, I should have dashed. I forgot to dash. Wait, can I? I can dash. Is Hollow Knight main appeal the gameplay puzzling? Uh, the, yeah, the main appeal is definitely the gameplay. The, yeah, it's not the puzzling so much as the combat. Uh, in Hollow Knight, you have to enjoy exploring and you have to enjoy uh, the, the um, fighting. It has a story, yeah, but, but the story is quite simple. It's not really... It's not really like super explicit. I feel like if you own if you only want to play it for the story, it might not be the best game. You have to enjoy the gameplay. Cryptic story, pretty barren and NPC dialogue, exactly, yeah. Maybe I don't need the trampoline the second time around. Fuck. Are you wondering if you want to play it, Polly? Or are you just curious? Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I did it! I did it! <laughs> I was overcomplicating it in my brain. Oh dear. Oh dear. And uh, in Hollow Knight is also the the atmosphere and the art and all that is just so amazing. Really good music, yeah. I've heard many positive things. I'll probably check it out at some point. You should. It, it's honestly probably among my favorite games that I've played recently. Why did I insist on trying to grab onto the left side? I could have just grabbed onto the right side and it would have worked great. Nope, nope, I needed that dash, shit. Haha, <laughs> fuck. I'm trying to do it without grabbing on too much because 
running out of grabbing time. This is my fatal flaw right now. Fucking seriously? Okay, that's fine. I, I get it. I get it. Shit. I think I grabbed on a bit too long there. in the main chapters I finished all of them including I just finished chapter 8 which is the one that is kind of like the after the main main part of the game so uh, I've pretty much finished everything up until 9 so now I'm going to finish all the b-sides before trying out 9 which is not gonna go well going back for 100% I'm going for all the b-sides first at least. I'm not sure if I'll go for all the straps though. We shall see. Uh, whoops. <laughs> oh no. I did the straps and would argue they're much easier. Yeah, I'm sure they're I'm sure they're easier, but it would be a bit of a grind to find them all, I think. Did you use a guide or anything to find all the straps or did you uh, just straight up look for them until you found them? I'm not sure, like, at least on stream, I'm not sure if I'm up for the grind of finding all of them. Chapter 5, you looked up a few straps? Yeah, I would probably end up doing that eventually, too. Crap. Because I don't have the patience to go through all the chapters and just, like, search the crap out of them. I don't, I don't think. And right now, I'm busy playing Graveyard Keeper off stream, so I don't have time to look for straws. Okay. I think I understand how to do it. But I have to do it better than that! Piece of shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, how am I gonna do it without grabbing on as much? Whoops. Oh, what? How am I alive? I don't I don't have to go on the left wall there. I just have to be on the platform on the side. Yeah. That'll cut down my grabbing on time. Crap.
Oh my goodness, now I'm missing the basic stuff. <laughs> I really love it when I start like, start, I start to master stuff. But then suddenly I forget everything I've learned again. Like that, for example. And that! I was doing that pretty okay-ishly before. Darn it. up focusing up here we go <laughs> not like that let's focus up better than that that jump is a little tricky that jump isn't tricky that one isn't that that is not tricky that is just a normal jump stop sucking thank you Why? <laughs> I'm getting uh, tired of dying in this room. I want to move on to dying in the next room. I'm not going crazy. Nope. Nope! I'm not going crazy. Nope. I have to sit up straight. I'm slouching. That's the reason I'm dying. who don't people with good posture never die science has proven this the funny thing is I still don't have good posture I'm just now sitting kind of straighter but still hunched over like my knees are now up on the couch that's not better but it makes me feel more focused and that's what matters to die on these like to die um, right after a part that I find fairly manageable because then I'm just doing kind of easy boring stuff repeatedly Grab onto that wall first. Yeah, that's what I have to do. That's where I'm failing. I'll do it next time. I'll do it next time I get to the. Uh huh. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> told you. Definitely not a total lie. I'm so upset! 
Maybe I can just jump straight from that wall. I feel like that's too far. Man, I'll be so relieved when I get past this room. I'll be so freaking relieved. I'll be so relieved. Why can't I jump in that hole? Of all things to struggle with, jumping in the hole should not be it. I have to take a break soon. I just have to like take a few moments away from this. Maybe I should just do that. Maybe if I leave for five minutes, then my brain won't have this level, this uh, room imprinted on its brain anymore, on its uh, surface anymore, and I won't go insane. I'll be back. I'll be back! Here, let me set a timer and go drink some tea. <laughs> I'll be fine! Uh, where's my timer? Tea! Great idea. Tea is always a good idea. If my timer will start before the time has already passed. Okay. 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 Thank you so much for the follow, Demp. I appreciate it. It's gonna take me five minutes to open my timer. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. BRB. Bye. <laughs> 
Okay, I am back. Here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Let me change the title real quick. Because this is a lying title. This title is lying. Does that work? That doesn't work. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Now I have to go all the way to my dashboard. You know what a smart streamer would have done? like this during the five minute break. <laughs> that would have been the smart thing to do. Okay. There we go. It is time to resume this room and actually not fail it this time. Yeah? God damn it. I only have like 50 more deaths before I get back to having to take another tea break. Oh, 
Oh, crap. We believe! Thank you. Oh my goodness. I'm dying in stupid ways again. I'm gonna just stop dying in the stupid ways. It'll cut down on my deaths by like... a lot. Yes! Finally! <laughs> that took me way too long. Ow. That took me way too long! That took me way too many tries! It's okay. It's okay, it's over with now. And this room seems more manageable so far. What am I doing up there? What? What happened? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Moving on, moving on, moving on. <laughs> Let's just finish up a few rooms very quickly to make up for how much time I spent on that stupid room. Oh dear. Oh dear, this is not gonna be good. Okay. Oh dear. Oh man. Okay. Alright. Okay. Question is, when do I have to use my dash? I have to use my dash to get up to that. Maybe. You know what? I'll see when I'll have to use my dash. It's fine. Well, I'm gonna just take it as it comes! It's fine! It's fine! Totally, totally, and utterly fine. Yep. I need to take it slower. Like do that. And then that or something. <laughs> okay. Alright, that was really well done. I swear, were the other B-sides this difficult? Stand on top of one of those, that's for sure. Alright. Maybe I have to jump over it? Like that! Perfect! Okay, cool. <gasps> ah, I didn't- I somehow didn't expect it to go down. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh! Okay... I don't know for sure how to do that yet. Like that! Oh dear! 
Oh dear, no. I did not, I should not have used my dash. That was a big mistake. I should have grabbed onto that wall. That was a big mistake. all the way over there and I have to dash up and probably grab onto that thing with my dash and then jump onto that thing and uh, uh, we'll, we'll take it as a it'll be fine it'll be totally fine what could go wrong oh my god I was still alive when I thought I wasn't Save that too. Ah, <laughs> shit. All right. Visa! Oh, hello, Visa! What's up? <laughs> Thank you so much for the host! Hello, hello, guys. Zero, could you maybe uh, shout out Visa for me? Ah, oh, shit. Hey, Crow, what's up? Thank you very much. Codename 47, what is that? I don't think I've heard of that. Did you have a good stream? Come in, everybody. I hope you had an, a good evening. You, uh, d you, you forgot the colon, Zero. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh no. I am, I am doing well, thank you, Crow. How are you doing? <clears throat> First ever Hitman game is surprising me. I did enjoy so far. Is it super old? How old is it? And how janky is it? <laughs> this is the real question. Hope everybody is having a great day. <laughs> and I hope everyone is ready to watch me die a lot. So that's what's gonna happen, whether you like it or not. Oh dear. I'm a failure? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's that's true. That's true. I'm not gonna deny it. Deny it because you did just do the very definition of failing. But hey, it's fine to fail sometimes. <laughs> Super butt! But somehow it were butted perfectly fine for what it is. Uh, awesome, I am alive. Back kills, but I was lying down for a little bit. May have passed out to the proms. To 
to the proms? Oh my god, bus spot. <laughs> bus spot. Super jank, but somehow it worked perfectly fine for this. That's great. That's great. Sometimes jank is just fun, right? Especially when you're streaming. You're really good at dying though. I mean, thank you. That's like the whole appeal of my channel. <laughs> I'd have lost it if, you, if I knew people were watching me die over and over on a stream. I've, I Honestly, I, I think I used to be much more self-conscious about that kind of thing, but I've gotten used to it. Oh shit. But I mean, I've I've changed a lot from when I first started streaming. The first ever stream I did, I was like too I was too shy to like barely even talk. Like I was I was literally too anxious to open my mouth <laughs> for like the first stream or two. I talked a little bit, I think, but like barely. Oh shit. I'd hope you changed your clothes with smell from over a year of wear. That's true. Yeah. Um, don't call me out, Walker. That's why I don't use a webcam, so you guys can't smell me. Because webcams transmit smell. What is a proms, Crow? Exactly. BBC English thing, BBC proms. English thing? Is it like a show? Crow falls asleep to school dances. <laughs> Stinkiness. Yeah, I'm glad you. I'm glad you enjoyed uh, Codenames 47, Misa. <laughs> I feel like it's really fun to play old janky ass games and find that you really enjoy them. I mean, I wouldn't be able to compare it because Half Life aged pretty well, but um, some of the jankiness of Half Life was actually the most enjoyable thing about streaming it. Finally! <laughs> this way? No? Okay. This memorial dedicated to those who perished on the climb. Oh, all thousands of me? <laughs> also, welcome back, Mocker. I feel like you were gone for a while. I don't know. Maybe you were just lurking. It's fine. Show, big concert at the Royal Albert Hall. If you can find a search for public service broadcasting BBC prompts. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Embrace the jank. Oh yeah, you're playing Metal Gear Solid. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm sorry your back hurts, Crow. Why the fuck is your back hurting? Are you just really old? But I guess when you work on roofs, I wouldn't be surprised if that kind of takes a toll on your back. You moved a couple tons of logs today. Tis the season. That would that would do it. I just wanted to get up there, man. Everything is fine! <laughs> Fuck. I really need to load up MGS and rescue all the animals. I need to 100% that game. Half-Life came up in discussion during the stream too. I think Half-Life set a lot of the standards we still use. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Well, Hitman, even if it's a trailblazer, it used aged mechanics that we no longer use. Ah, uh, okay. What was like uh, an example of an aged mechanic that uh, didn't really work so well? Curious.
<gasps> oh, I, sp I panic. I panicked. I panicked. I would have been fine if I hadn't panicked. Uh, so let that be a lesson to you, kids. Let that be a lesson to you. Whoop! Was that too loud? Sorry about that if I broke ears. Still don't know what proms this proms is. It's a show. Or no, it's like a concert thing. Like a show concert show kind of thing. <laughs> you can look at the inventory. Or did you try searching for it and didn't find anything? Is that the problem? Because I didn't try searching for it. You can look at the inventory skills instead of the person you're watching. Sorry, what? Mocker, we must be the same person. Maybe you are. Oh my god, shut up, game! <laughs> Sever the skyline. Okay, I got I get I get it. Okay, we can move on. <laughs> shush shush shush. I'm trying to talk to my chat. And it's just like <laughs> Switch extension for Borderlands 3 is the fanciest switch extension I've ever seen. Nice. You can look at the inventory skills of the person you're watching. That's really cool. I wish more games had better, uh, like, extensions and, and, like, integrations. That would be very neat. There's so much potential. There's so much potential. Controls, instead of WASD, it was S Z N S Z X C S C X. Oh, wow, that's weird. I love how it took, that took me ages. I was like, wait, where are those keys? I don't know. It's really well designed, like looks fancy as hell, and has nice animations. Wow! Do that for all the games, please! Defaults to walking with a numpad. Huh. Can't just call Crow really old. I just did. <laughs> I just did! That was me playing the organ! <laughs> wow! You did a, you did sound effects for, for Celeste Crow? That's so impressive. If you'd read the messages in order, I don't understand. I did. I, I got there eventually. This game should let us see the deaths in real time. Yeah, that's kind of the first thing I thought. It was like, you guys should just be able to see how many times I've died, even though I can't even see how many times I've died in the middle of a level. Okay, 191. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Shut up, game. I don't need you to be a jerk to me like that. All right. Uh, left trigger. So, I'm missing a blue heart in most of the levels. I'm missing a B-side in Golden Ridge. Should I go find that B-side? You guys uh, feel like helping me find that B-side? There are seven straws that I'm missing in that area too. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. It's the fourth chapter. One, two, three, four. Oh, there you- there I see where the cassette is. It's at, like in the very fucking beginning of the level. I might just go through it and see if I can find more straws too. Sure, I'll help! <laughs> well, I mean, that's good. I can- I can use just more eyes to look for sneaky-ass secrets. In some ways, uh, like, people who have played this game just, just to be clear, people who have played this game, I don't want you to like tell me where it is exactly as soon as I go into the room. But if I miss it and like I start moving on from where it is, then feel free to let me know. For the sake of me not having to do it twice, you know. But people who, people who have not played this game, if you see a secret, shout at me really loudly so I hear it all the way to Norway. Thanks. Probably the best thing I've seen about that game. Wait, the Twitch extension? <laughs> SZXC is quite common for actions and arrow keys or numpad for movement in Japanese indie games. Ah. 
F5 wasn't the first game with WASD, but it was probably the most popular one by then. Right. It's my favorite track in the A-sides. I don't remember the track in the A-sides, but this level is fucking beautiful. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. The problem is that I, when I, and anytime I, like the first time I played this level, I noticed how pretty it was in the very beginning and then I didn't look at it for the entire rest because I was so focused on bouncing on clouds. It's a secret. You have to jump down that hole. Piece of shit. Oh! Let us be known that Crow is a piece of shit. An awesome piece of shit. Welcome back, Crystal. Were you that loud enough? Uh, I didn't even hear it in Norway, Crystal. Oh my god. That could have been a secret. I don't know, man. I don't know. There could be a secret down there. Why is there such a giant area down there? Uh... Shit! Oh, that was just Madeline. <laughs> wow. 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 Just wow. That's all I have to say. Okay. Better than the other day, not quite great. Getting ready for rehearsal type stuff. Nice. Yes, I mean, I know that. You were here like a minute ago. Any compliments with an I. Compliments with an I. Ugh, crow. Ugh, why do I have to give you English? I'm sorry. <laughs> Like, when you're not here for the first couple hours of my stream, I have to make up for it by insulting you a little bit more often for the rest of the stream. I'm sorry. Constant commercials for Borderline 3 have me kind of meh about the game. I understand that, yeah. Squirrel! <laughs> I'm so cute. <laughs> I wonder if I've already passed it. Maybe this crow was talking about the biological complement system. There's a biological complement system? Let me be the uneducated ed one, please. Oh! Oh, fuck. That means I missed it. The B side is before the first drop. Am I wrong? Tell me if I'm wrong. If I'm right, you can also tell me. <laughs> Am I wrong that I've missed it? <laughs> Literally do not remember collecting this tape anymore. That's fair. I wouldn't either. I mean... The only thing would be, like, if you had actually seen the secret as I passed it just now. <laughs> You're definitely either right or wrong. Thanks, Mocker. God, Mocker is like the only person. That looks so much like a secret. I was so sure it was a secret. Darn it. Aw, oh, they don't want me to climb like that. I told you where it was. It's down the pit. Okay. That wasn't the right pit. Okay, let's go check the other pit. Let's check the other pit. It's this pit, right? 
Is it, is it this pit, Crow? Is, it, is this the right pit? Is this the right pit? Okay, here we go. <gasps> you lied to me! What? I'm shocked. This is why I never trust you. What's to the right here? Here? I mean, this seems awfully suspicious, right? I checked down here, too. I checked- I believe I checked down there. Let me check again. There we go! There we go. <laughs> that's that! I think I checked there before, so that's two deaths for that one check. Worth it. I feel like I've checked everywhere, God damn it! Let's move on in case... In case it's not really in order somehow? I don't know. I mean, this beam of light thing, this beam of light thing that is coming from this waterfall is usually kind of a beam of light that happens when you have a b-side. But like smaller, usually. Ah, fuck! Nothing in the tape is just in the area you can find it, not necessarily the order. Yeah, maybe maybe the tape just is always at the beginning. Yeah, that's very possible. Maybe it's in the air, like it's, it shows which section it's in, so it's always at the beginning of the section. Oh, great, you again. I don't wanna, I can just skip this, skip this, skip this. So I don't have to stress about it being there. Kenzie just looked at me like, what the fuck? Why are you like this? Hey, I'm just a cute dog. Questionable. Am I going to have actual trouble, like, actually completing the level now? Ah, yeah. How many times will I die looking for this B side? Place your bets. Looking for secrets, seeing no secrets, and not remembering how this mechanic works. Same exact thing. I know. <clears throat> Don't talk about that. Abby's <laughs> awesome. No one tell her. Well, I won't tell her. Clip it. Fuck. Do you want to know a secret? For some reason, I started thinking, uh, do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> That's the first thing I thought of when you said that. I was like, do you want to know a secret? <laughs> People are asking where you've been. <laughs> they say have courage, and I'm trying to. <laughs> that makes no sense. Fine. Thank you, Vise. Best quoter. Best quoter. 
Okay, I accidentally got that strawberry. Like, I just went over there to check. Uh, that's how pro I am. <laughs> As evidenced by the rest of this stream. Oh shit, see? I told you. Nope, I'm not seeing a secret. At least one that is nice to you. There really aren't many. There really aren't many. There's like a few wholesome ones. Don't you fuck! <laughs> oh! That was, the, that was the time, that was the stream when I decided to suddenly be... a preacher of abstinence. <laughs> Don't you fuck, chat! Don't you fuck! Don't you fuck. Oh, shit. I'm looking for secrets, I am not finding them. Abst abstinence. Abstinence. Oh. Oh shit. Hashtag saving myself. Hashtag my body's a temp temple. Hashtag would you fuck a temple? <laughs> Never. Never. I really hope none of you here would fuck a temple. Not because... Not because I'm a prude, but because... I kink shame people for... For, uh... Being sexually attracted to temples. Is this the B-side? Did I find it? This doesn't look like I've gotten this. Holy shit! I didn't get this. I didn't get this strawberry! I got almost all of them. You cured my cough. <laughs> Can't <laughs> I cured your cough? Well, go me. Some of them have really nice curves. I mean, there are all kinds of things that have nice curves. Golf balls have nice curves. Would you fuck a golf ball? I'm so upset. Buttresses. <laughs> oh my god. You guys, you guys are hilarious. wholesome game and here we are spreading our filth all over the place yeah I, it's really my fault honestly for streaming a game like this to an audience like you guys I mean I should have guessed that you would be absolutely awful about it you awful 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 pieces of crap there it is found it Woo ding 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 
I don't know what that thing was about, but I'm gonna say ding 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 ding. Do 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 do. Oh, this music! Fuck yeah! This music, haha, <laughs> it's so good. Hey, I'm not just, I'm not just a pervert. I'm rude too. You're my least favorite viewer, mocker. Out of like all of my viewers whose name is Mocker, you're the least favorite. I don't care. <laughs> Fuck you. You're also the best of my viewers named Mocker. Ah, oh, I'm going to be a DV. <laughs> I'm shocked. I am shocked. I never thought Mocker would say fuck you to me. This day, this day cannot get any worse. All right, I'm just gonna go for it. I can't plan ahead for this. <laughs> I mean, I'm not shocked. Well, you wouldn't be shocked. to be a deviant like that old video where the two guys on the islands is this gonna be born two guys are on an island bow chicka wow wow but don't but don't but don't but don't i don't know i can't your name tony fuck you tony <laughs> okay that's it could go that way too i see Ah, false. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Let me go straight to porn though. I'm not shocked. This is disappointed. That's <laughs> eh, okay. I'm okay with you being disappointed. But. I mean, where else would two guys on an island go? It's either fighting or fucking. It's, it's just it's those two. It's not. I'm not the deviant. Humanity is deviant. Most of the bit in your media. Most of what I reference is porn or porn adjacent. <laughs> yeah, mocker is is the reason for all of this. Why am I doing this? Why? Ugh. Not mutually exclusive either. Fighting and fucking. We can do both. No! <laughs> this music is very good. Why am I so bad? I swear. Yes! Trying to avert my innocent ears. <laughs> yeah. Crow is the most innocent person. Crow, a coward, gets off the topic of poor me, an <laughs> intellectual. <Nice> so. <laughs> uh, for this conversation, it would have been so useful for me to have, like, a. Uh, Porn music in my brain that I could just like start singing. Man.
sorry, what? You know what? I can just quit because, uh... Uh... No! Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I kind of want to keep going to see if I can get some of those straps that I'm missing, you know? It looks like I got all the straps from the la uh, the first section. You got the wonders from the first section. And I got this one. Oh, it's this part. Oh, shit. I don't think I really want to do this right now. I think I'm, I'm gonna quit for now. Save your progress, but you must restart at the last checkpoint. Uh, I got one more straw. <laughs> Okay, I, I'm not- no, you can't make me do that. No. God. Can't. Can't do that. Can't. Can't do it. Okay. Let's do the Golden Ridge B-side. Let's do it. Straw it up. I'm not gonna straw it up. Nope. I'm strawing it down. <laughs> Ooh, music! I heard little, literally, uh, four notes before I was like, ooh! <laughs> Sometimes that's all you need. Oh god, okay. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> This is all fun. Oh, okay. Dude, this music is cool. Can a streamer get taken down on Twitch because their chat are too sexy? You guys won't <laughs> test that theory of <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. You guys are very sexy. I find you all so sexy. Wow. Why do I have to be such a dick? I really don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I think you're all beautiful people. Dude. <gasps> oh! The timing. <laughs> I'm disgusting. <laughs> Mocker, please! Mocker knows exactly how to make me feel really bad for what I say. <laughs> he was just saying in his chat the other day. Can you shout out Mocker, please, bro? In his awesome, awesome chat, because Mocker is amazing and everyone should follow him. Um, um, he was just saying how. He tries to not make jokes at other people's expense, and I'm just sitting there like, oh. <laughs> don't, you know, don't know how to call me out like that, Mocker. Okay. I, I, I hear you. I hear you. Okay. <laughs> you just... <laughs> you just shouted out his emo. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Check out Mocker Heart. Oh, oh, that's so cute. Avocado is an actual person. What the hell? Everyone, go follow Avocado. Let's hope it's not a neo-Nazi. They have three followers. Let's everyone follow Avocado. 
And then I'm gonna follow Avocado right now. And then Avocado is gonna wonder why the fuck is so many people following me? Everyone, go do it. Go do it. Randomly trolling uh, Avocado. Come on, <laughs> do it. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Crow. Thank you, Crow. You've done us a great service. Okay, you are much better than this than me. I support Abby Chapter 9 2019. Have you seen me do like the previous uh, B-sides though? Is he? <laughs> have you seen me do the other ones? And have you seen me do the rest of this yet? You'll, you'll see. Oh, sh I'm alive. Oh, shit. Already hit follow. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone, everyone who followed, who, who's following Avocado. Thank you. You're awesome. <laughs> Maybe it'll make them happy. You're trying to make me cyberbully someone? I always make everyone cyberbully everyone. That's my whole goal with my channel. I feel like we don't have enough hate in the world. I just want... I just want to, you know... Inspire a bit of hate. And then, and then, you know, I will feel that my work on this earth... Has... Has... Is, is done. I can, I've done something I can be proud of. It's a cyber love. Show with your strong will and a few dozen deaths, you'll get through this. A few dozen? Oh, more like... More like a few dozen hundred. <laughs> I failed miserably at that opening section you didn't even flinch through. I think it's different strengths, probably. You probably didn't die as much in the earlier things that I was just doing. This, uh... This, uh... Level feels a little bit easier to me than the other ones. But like the freaking first chapter B side. So far, this is feeling easier. And the first chapter B side is probably easy for most people. <laughs> By the not making fun of people thing, I just meant I don't say something like his legs are weird or she's actually stupid or something. Yeah. No, I know. I know that you didn't really mean that. Oh shit. What? Ah! What? Ah! What? Fuck. Can I save this? Can I? I can't save it. By the not making fun of people thing, I just remember I just read that. I was looking at the stream for a while because I was editing an episode. Editing an episode? What were you editing an episode of? Is this a self promo thing? Pray tell us! Pray tell us about your self promo thing. <laughs> I must know. Is it like a YouTube episode or like a podcast or what is it? Oh dear. There. No! I'm so upset. Yeah, a lot of people do really are really mean spirited with their humor, and it's pretty fucked up. Like, you gotta try to imagine how it would feel for that person to know that you'd been joking that way. Just like, imagine if you knew someone had been making jokes like that about you. Like, how fucking terrible would that feel? Hey, Booyah! Welcome, how are you? How are you doing today? It's not interesting to Stark Siders 3 playthrough. Oh! Do you do like YouTube uh, play Let's Plays kind of thing? I haven't, uh, I haven't, I haven't only played the first Dark Siders game so far. Took a while to beat Gluttony boss, so I've included a death montage. Nice. Death montages are important. No one do a death montage of me dying in Celeste, please. That would be like hours long. Oh shit, come on. I 
love how I did this pretty well the first time I tried it. Oh no, there's a bunch of shit. Ah, oh, I need to dash sideways properly when I do that. I'm streaming in three to four hour sessions and editing them down to 30-ish minutes episodes. Be watching a death montage right now. <laughs> That's true. My entire stream is a death montage. That's true. That's a good point. Why? Why am I'm like okay? I don't need to go down further there. Perfect, 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 perfection. Perfect. Oh, I just did a, did you guys just see? Clip it, I just did a spike jump thing, I think. I cut my Cubs baseball beard off today, I feel 12. What? What is your baseball beard? What is your Cubs slash baseball beard, Booya? I feel like there's a backstory to this. Or is that like a type of beard that I'm not familiar with? No, I'm so sad. <laughs> it's all gone? So you're smooth shaven now? How long has it been since you were smooth shaven? I'm so upset. Why do I even try to keep going when it dies? There's no hope for me. No! <laughs> I almost saved it! <laughs> In April of 2016, I forgot to shave before work and the Cubs, my team, won opening day. I figured that was why. Correlation equals causation, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, of course. So you haven't shaved since then? No, you have, right? I stopped looking at chat. I said I wouldn't shave again until they lost. And they won the World Series for the first time since 1908. And then they haven't lost since then? Ah, I'm so upset. Banana! Hello. <laughs> How are you? I've been growing the beard for four years. Did they just lose? That was stupid. I'm like a banana. That's good. That's very good. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear it. So how does it feel to be rid of it? Is clean shaven your preferred style? The dead likes less hitting spikes. I can do this. I'm crying. Remember how I said the first chapter was easier? <laughs> I mean harder. I stand by that statement. I still see exactly how to do this and I feel like I can do it. I just have to stop failing just by a little bit.
Just in that spot. In that spot, I should have stopped feeling. So they just so they just lost a game for the first time in four years. Seriously? Abby could do it. Yes, finally. To the team that one needs to be changed and three years, not four, my bad. The team that one needs to be changed. I'm not, I'm not following. The soundtrack is so good. It's so good. Absolutely. This is the one that doesn't move its position, isn't it? So I have to... Uh, do fancy shit. <gasps> oh my god. Oh dear. Oh no, just when I was typing, why do you always die? <laughs> uh, that was just to spite you making that comment. Oh, crap. Did it! Woo! Ah! Okay, I get it. I have to go. I get it, game! Oh, whoa! that-ish, kind of, except for the part when I jumped off the ledge in the very beginning. Panic mode! <laughs> I know! It's, it's musical screaming to my death. Uh! <laughs> yes! Oh! It's going the other way now. mode. <laughs> I would say kind of because a lot of it is more than just chip to. No, why does it have to change the wind direction? That's really, really impractical. Let's pause. Wind is very weird up here. There are some killer piano pieces. I mean, the whole game definitely isn't chip tune. I definitely landed on that. Did you? You guys saw that, right? I definitely landed on that platform, right? How did I not get my dash back? That's not fair. I'm gonna call their manager. Huh. Shite. Mm -hmm. ah. I feel like I have to get up there and get that bubble. Whether this is the right way to do that is questionable. This is the right way to do that. Oh, sh Sorry, I don't see how to get my... Wait, I don't see how to... Whoops. I don't see how to continue after that next part. Oh, there's a platform down there. But how do I get my dash back to get to the platform? Maybe there's another platform that I can't see yet. Or maybe I somehow have to figure out a way to not use my dash there. You can get all the sheet music, yeah. I understand now. I keep forgetting about the wind being a factor. <laughs> kind of an important 
part of it, I guess. Oh, shh. I probably shouldn't be forgetting about the wind in this level. I don't think of it. Might be. The key to my success might be remembering that there's wind and also not doing that anymore. Why? Oh dear. Forgetting that I have to stay up high before I start falling down there. But not that high, okay. Deep breath. less guitar performance. Posted in media. I would love to see that. I mean, if you want to. It's up to you. I won't force you. Will do? Awesome, thank you. Yes! I did it! Okay. Manageable. Unless this goes really fast. Maybe it goes really fast. Okay, I'm less sure about how to do that part. kind of iffy if I'll be able to grab onto it for that long. I'll have to mostly be doing wall jumps, I guess, which will make it difficult. Oh, right, but I regained that, that part. Okay. Uh, I have to get ahead of it. Damn it. I did it! What? 
Oh, what the fuck? That's where I need my dash. Holy shit. Okay, sure. Just make it really hard. That's fine. I don't even need my dash there. I do need more grabbing on time, though. I'm spending too much time grabbing on. I'm gonna drop it. Yeah, how do I fix that? Does my dash somehow reset it? No. Is it really expecting me to like wall jump while I do this somehow? Ha ha ha! What the fuck? Is that really what it expects me to do? No. It wouldn't! my head right now at the screen. Like, what the fuck are you thinking, Celeste? What are you thinking here? Mm. Just that one part of, uh, that one part where I jump instead of where I wall jump instead of grabbing on uh, makes the difference, but it's hard. Where I just died, that's where I have to wall jump instead of try to jump over right away, I think. Yeah, <laughs> or maybe not, I'm not sure if I have to, but that seemed to work last time. Like that. I did it! Holy crap, that was a tough one. That was a tough one. Holy crap. Now game is gonna be all sh shitty to me again. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> four. <laughs> wow, I'm pretty proud of that four. It's better than a two. are hard earned. I'm I have to go to the for the leftmost one first, I think. Well I have to go for the upper one first. First, which means I'll be pretty far to the right, so I probably should get the one on the little stone block next. Then jump up to the trampoline, and then get the bottom one, and then get the one to the far left. I'll try it! Oh, dear Lord! <laughs> That's hard. Ah. Like a boss! Like a boss! Subtle vocals in the back of this are amazing. They are. They're very subtle. And they're not right now. Ah, balls. Come on! Fuck. 
boss! Why are you jumping down that hole? I timed that beginning badly, I guess. Oh dear. It went so well before. And then I start doing this again. Actually, it just went well one time, so I don't have to like be raising my standards all of a sudden. I got this. I got this. That wasn't Annie, Abby Panic, that was Abby Despair. Thank you very much. I'd thank you to know the difference. Ah, oh, shit. Whoa, okay. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That was an interesting that was an interesting shit. I wonder if I can save this. The answer is no. I'm not saying it's not physically possible, but. I didn't mean to do it diagonally. Doorbell is tripping me out. <laughs> It's warm, actually. It's not hot anymore. But I'm using my St. Jude Play Live tumbler. I've had a giant cup of tea in it from the since the beginning of my stream. And uh, it's still like pretty warm, like quite warm. Not like, not hot enough that it's, it's like hot, but warm for sure. Well into warm. It is a good tumbler. It's a very good tumbler. I'm very happy with it. Okay. I'm actually surprised because I kind of expected those prizes to be kind of like gimmick, gimmicky thingies, just to kind of, you know, to encourage people to raise money for St. Jude, which is already like a super awesome little thing to just give some little items like that. But uh, they're actually pretty, like, high quality items. And the mouse mat is gigantic and so, like, solid. I'm not sure I follow this part. I can jump that far. Oh, that wasn't intentional. I was just testing how far I can jump in this wind. Ah! I can jump to that platform from, from that platform, I think. I just have to probably keep my momentum a little bit. Not that well, though. Ah! <laughs> Darn. Almost worth the amount I cried that first stream. Oh, that dragon cancer. Oh my god. That was... That was rough, that game. 
That was really rough. I don't even need to keep my buttons, my buttons by the way. <laughs> it just works. Oh, what what just happened? What just happened? Did you guys see that? I'm sad that I lost the VOD of that Dragon Cancer. I'm very sad that I lost all of that, like, charity stream. And also all of my Firewatch playthrough. I lost all of the VODs of my Firewatch playthrough, which was like two or three VODs. So it's like I never even did it. All right, I do have to fall down there, I think. I can just go straight to the platform down there. I was, I've been trying to reach the, the, whoa, the edge. I can just do it that way. Oh, whoops. That was a great stream. I know. I had such a good time playing Firewatch. I had a such good time playing Firewatch. We had such great, like, conversations. And by great conversations, I'm, I don't mean like, deep conversations. I mean like hilarious conversations. <laughs> I think, as far as I remember. Ah! No! <laughs> Both. That's what I remember too, yeah. What's in the butlet originated there? And I said poggers on stream. To my great embarrassment. <laughs> but that's like that's clipped, so that that's safe. That's safe. Someone obviously clipped that. Ah oh, no! We can only remember now. Poggers is forever. <laughs> it will live on in our hearts. Oh man. So I started Mass Effect 3 the other day, wanted to hang, but haven't played it yet. Much chick rose ch ch chagrin. Dude. Why haven't you played it yet? Booyah. Are you planning to play it? To be fair, it did take me. It did take me, uh. Oh, shit. Six months after playing, after finishing Mass Effect 2, to start playing Mass Effect 3. So, you know. I shouldn't, like, complain about people not having played Mass Effect 3 yet. One day it's like Skyrim or KSB. So I mod them for like four hours a day and then forget to play. As in you make mods for them? Or what? I just install. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I gotcha. I understand. I was like, wait, what? Is this like the big ass hobby you have? Just making mods for games that you never play? Wait, what? Ah! Shit. That was just me being dumb. Don't worry about it. Ah! I forgot how to do this part. I need my dash. I'm screwed. I've made one mod in my life, a baseball bat to replace a sword in Morrowind. Nice. <laughs> of course you did. That sounds exactly like something you would do, Booyah. It's not a bad thing. Oh man. Do 
Taw made some quite successful mod for some game. What was that? Might have been like for um, StarCraft. Shit. Stellaris. There you go. I swear, every time I do anything in this game, I just feel like I was lucky. <laughs> like, okay, my fingers just happen to press the right button there. All right, I'll just go with it. Let me drink some tea. My tea is gone now. Sad face. What kind of tea today? It's like a, a green tea with some ginger, ginger in it. I'm not sure exactly what kind of tea. I don't remember. Zero just brought me the the thing, green jasmine tea with ginger and lemon in it. It's yummy. <clears throat> Sounds really good. It is really good, actually. <laughs> I really like this tumbler too because uh, the tea bag, I can just like, it uses suction, um, like a rubbery suction kind of kind of way to keep the lid on it, and uh, I can just kind of pull the the tea bag string to bring the tea bag up out of the water. So I don't like need to deal with it. I just pull it, pull the string a bit, and then it's out of the. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I'm so happy. I like having like random useful items like that. It's so great. Ugh. Such an, a fucking adult being so excited about a stupid tumbler. <laughs> ah, you found Taw's uh, mod. Nice. That is Taw's mod. Do do. Alright. Ta is my brother, by the way, for anyone who doesn't know that. so cool. What is it again? Let me just... No cluster stars. Right. Yeah. He said that it's like a thing that... I don't remember what he said it is exactly, but he... That it's something that... The game should have as an option already or something. So he just like fixed it. Oh no, balls. Okay. What? <clears throat> Do -do -do. 
Oh, the music. I love it. I want to finish this part so I can start like figuring out exactly how to do the next part because I'm not entirely sure how yet. Just want to try some shit out. But I'm just dying on the part I already know how to do. <laughs> oh, okay. I did it. <laughs> that was way too early. Let's try that again. That was way too bad, in all ways. That was just, just awful. Oh my god. That was just embarrassing. Oh dear lord. Why am I even trying? Oh man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, why am I even trying? Why? Ah! I saw spikes and I was like, no, nope, get away! It didn't help my cause. Oh, shit! Really? Wow, okay. That's quite a challenge they gave me there. I I spaced out. Good music in a game really makes all the difference, especially when it's the kind of game like this that is kind of frustrating sometimes. Because it like holds you over, or like ties you over until... Until you can beat it. Shit. I shouldn't be afraid of using my dash there. Shouldn't be afraid to use my dash there because I can just stand on top of them anyway. <laughs> can I? Or do I have time for that? I would just be so chilled while dying all the time. I wouldn't say I'm chilled, but now that you said that, I'm gonna try to be more chilled. I'm definitely tensing up. Fuck. Because it requires so much focus to not be sucky. Just be chilled whilst riding over a spike for us. No biggie, right? What's the problem? Just calm the fuck down. I think I'm uh, losing my focus a little bit. Let's focus up. Focusing uh, <laughs> I don't know why I can't really manage to precision jump down onto the next platforms there. It's rough. It's very rough. I can't. I can't do it. Thank you. 
I don't know why it's so hard. Can I do it, Crow? Can I do it? Mm, no, I can't. <laughs> Both! <laughs> Some would say you can avocado do it. Avocado do it. Avocado do it. See, there's, there's like all of the catchphrases in one word. All of them. All three of them. really weird noise. <laughs> let's, not, let's not talk about the weird ass noise I just made. We don't need to talk about it, okay? We don't need to discuss it. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm so upset. Uh, I'm glad I made a weird ass noise because it made me laugh and now I really feel like I needed to laugh after all that death. <clears throat> no, shit. <clears throat> so much death. How are we to stand against such evil or something? I need to learn that Theoden quote properly so that I can actually quote it properly when it comes up, which is surprisingly often when I'm playing Celeste. <laughs> so much death! <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder why it comes up so often. Oh. Someone, uh, someone find that full Theoden quote of him saying so much death. Do it! <laughs> I'm not a demanding streamer. Shit. Wait, what quote? Theoden, Lord of the Rings. He says so much death in uh, Helm's Deep in the, in the second movie. He said it, says it. Right before Aragorn is like, right out to them! And then I don't remember the rest of Aragorn's line either. Face them head on! I only just caught what you were saying, I wasn't clipping anything. Oh, okay. Uh huh. I believe you. <laughs> and it definitely wasn't that really weird noise I made earlier, right? You wouldn't. You wouldn't do that. Has anyone seen the director's cut of Lord of the Rings? Dude. Dude. Booyah. Fucking go watch them right fucking now, please. If there's any director's cut that's ever worth watching, it's Lord of the Rings. And I'm not biased because they're like my favorite movies ever either. But really, they are much, they are significantly better than the non director's cut. Because there's a lot of very good scenes that have been cut out in uh, the theater cut, theatrical cut, whatever. Those movies are so, they are so good. Seriously, they're very long. The director's cuts are very long, but please do watch them. I really do recommend them. You haven't. I'm gonna cry. They're long stories, absolutely. And they're nothing like the books. So if you're like they're they are absolutely amazing in their own way, in a very different way from the books. And it's one of the rare cases where um I wouldn't criticize them. We're making 
the I wouldn't criticize Peter Jackson for making it significantly different because Tolkien said himself that they don't the stories don't work well for like he he didn't think they should make movies of them. He was against it. <clears throat> Fuck. We didn't watch the director's cut? Do it! Seriously. If you like the movies, you'll like the director's cut much more. Trust me. They are truly excellent. And there will be some scenes where you're like, what? They shouldn't have cut this out, it's so good. But at the same time, you have to under, under like, it's understandable that they cut them out, but like, <laughs> So it makes a good adaptation. Like, yeah, they've they've uh, definitely adjusted it for the medium, as you have to do. And I feel like maybe a lot of people who make movies for uh, movie adaptations of books don't recognize the ways in which you have to adapt it for the medium, and instead they just like try to make it like the book, only they cut out a bunch of really important things. Mm, so difficult. So they're always like, they always cut out really stupid shit and it doesn't really capture the essence of it in the way it needs to. And then they leave in things that they maybe could have cut. They just like, they there's no like art about the way, there's not that much of artistic skill in the way they adapt them. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> we are talking about Lord of the Rings, Polly. Get in here. I was just quoting uh, Theoden's So Much Death line again. <laughs> Somehow that line keeps coming up while I play this game. <laughs> when he wrote the books, planes were like a hobby though. Planes were like a hobby. I can do this. By God, I can do it. I did it. First try. I haven't seen that either and I know I should. Good. I'm trying to get everyone to watch the, the director's cut. Te technically, Peter Jackson has said the director's cut is a theatrical and longer ones are extended editions for super fans. I always call them extended editions myself, but then people started talking about director. Hey, I'm a super fan! Shut up! <laughs> I don't think I've seen the director's cut either, but I watched the films this year, so I have to wait another five before I can watch them again. You know, that's smart, actually. Two! <laughs> Fuck! I haven't seen many really bad adaptations because fortunately they're easy to avoid but it applies to Harry Potter movies too even if I enjoyed them. Damn, are they badly adapted. They're so fucking badly adapted, Lisa. Thank you for recognizing that. Thank you for recognizing that. People love the Harry Potter movies and I don't begrudge them that. I think that's great that they love them. But to say that they're good adaptations of the books is an absolute stretch because they're just not. <laughs> they're just not. They can be okay. They, they're okay movies. They're okay movies. And I love many things about them. But I'm really hoping for another Harry Potter, like visual visual media Harry Potter. Like a TV, like a mini series. I, I think the books need much more. <clears throat> they need much more if they're going to. Oh shit. They need much. They need more time. Okay, what the fuck? All right. Can I move that to the side? I can, yeah, by grabbing onto the side, right? I remember. <clears throat> 
extended versions are legit, it isn't just scenes reinserted. They actually integrate some scenes or have been replaced and score redone to fit. Yeah. They are so good. Everyone need to watch them. Watch it again for Christmas. It used to be an annual tradition for me. I watched them so many times. Um, I'm not slandering their name. I'm not saying that they're bad movies. I'm just saying that they don't do justice to the books. Um, but yes, I, we've talked about this before, before with Lord of the Rings too. That I watched them like I did marathons with like three different groups of friends of of the extended editions. My senior year in high school. Oh shit. And uh, ever since then, I haven't been able to watch them because. Because I got so sick of them. It was a problem, and it made me really sad. I didn't watch them for like five or six or seven or eight years. No, I think I watched them like five years after high school, and I still didn't hadn't really recovered. And then I watched them again, like at the beginning of each uh, beginning of this year, and I really loved them again. <laughs> it had been long enough. There are so many great bad Christmas movies out at Christmas. <laughs> It's true. Why are we talking about uh, Christmas movies? Oh, watch it again for Christmas, I see. Love actually counts as a Christmas movie because I know people hate it, but I love that film. What? Who hates Love Actually? I've honestly never heard. I don't love. I don't love that movie uh, myself. But the only thing I've heard of it, like. I only ever hear about it because people love it, personally. Shoot. Hi, Clueless! Are we so down for a TV series Harry Potter in the vein of Steven Universe or Gravity Falls? No! I want a serious, proper adaptation that is similar to the movies, but just better. Just more true to the movies. But I fucking love Steven Universe and Gravity Falls. But I'm not sure I want Harry Potter to be like that. Silence of the Lambs is better for me after seeing the movie. Anthony Hopkins just adds so much to the character of Hannibal. I didn't- I haven't read it, so I wouldn't be able to say. I've only seen it. Christmas movie is kind of a book adaptation? Christmas movie? Isn't the one just titled Christmas movie? I love that film. I feel like everyone loves Love Actually, Booyah. Who has told you that they hate it? I feel like most people love that movie. 60% on Rotten Tomatoes, that's what I meant by people don't like it. That's weird. Because literally every time it's ever come up in conversation, or like I've seen it mentioned on... Oh, hey, Raiders. Every time I've seen it mentioned on like social media, it's always people that people love it. Hello, Raiders! Welcome! What's up? Thank you so much for the Raid Slayer. Welcome in, everybody. Hello, Immortal Wish Paradox Pixels. Hi! Hi, Slayer! How was your stream? Could we have a shout-out for Slayer, please? Thank you. You're playing Marbles? What else did you do today? You guys have fun? Welcome in, guys. I'm playing Celeste. I'm doing... Uh, today I finished Chapter 8, and now I'm doing some B-sides that I missed. Hello, William! How is everyone doing today? My name is Avi, if you guys haven't met me before. And uh, uh, I, uh, one of my favorite hobbies is dying five million times in Celeste. Twelve minute episode about Neville. We're talking, we're currently talking about um, Lord of the Rings. We were talking about how the extended versions are must sees everyone has to go watch the extended editions of lord of the rings because they're amazing if you haven't watched them already and then we're talking about harry potter and then we're talking about christmas movies and uh and uh yeah hello 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 <laughs> my name is is avi with a v i but but that's okay 
Welcome. Hi, Tybromatic. We just only have good people here who like Love Actually. Uh, Booyah was saying that he loves Love Actually, but uh, thought that every, like most people didn't like it, and apparently only has 60% rating on... Um... Oh, shit. 60% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, which really confuses me because I've only ever seen it... I've only ever seen it um, talked about as if people love it. Oh, shoot! <laughs> Abby! Yes! There you go. Nice. Don't worry. Like, I don't care. It is all good. Doing good now? Very awesome, actually. I've not only achieved any personal best in any percent cuphead, but managed to reach my goal of a sub 45 minute run. Holy shit! Dude, I didn't even know that you speedrun uh, cuphead. That's awesome. Oh, my mouse is running out of batteries. So let me fix that real quick. Da, 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 da. I hope everyone have a, is having a good Friday. Do you guys have any plans for the weekend? Do you know about Dextro Anarchy uh, Slayer? She also speedruns Cuphead now and then. And she's also a very great streamer, so everyone should go check her out <clears throat> if you're interested in uh, that kind of thing. She also plays a lot of retro games. She's played some retro, like some old Final Fantasy. Wow, rude. <laughs> old Final Fantasy games and uh, like Secret of Mana and Shadow of the Glosses and things on stream. Do you recommend? Da -da -da. Oh, don't kill me, don't kill me! No! <laughs> oh no! Ah, oh, that went so kind of well. I should really look at the about me first. <laughs> hey, you can't read everything. I have so many panels and there's so much text. It's too much work for anyone. <laughs> I do appreciate you looking at the panels and reading the rules and stuff like that though. It's very... I do appreciate that. Who has time to read? Exactly. <laughs> I wouldn't call a speedrun necessarily really more personal best attempts. Okay. I wouldn't butt it a speed butt necessarily. Okay. Butt spa, don't be such a jerk. Jeez. But congrats on your personal best. That's, that's awesome, that must be exciting. How much better was your PB than uh, the last one? What, did, what time did you have before? Ah, balls. Are co-op speedruns a thing, by the way? I haven't seen. I'm sure they are. I mean, people speedrun all kinds of categories, right? Oh, okay, I missed my bus. Oh, shit. Proved by 20 seconds last week, and this was another proof by 25 seconds. Wow, great. Good job. That is very well done. Must have taken you a lot of work. Oh shit! Oh my god! I, I failed. The, I, I failed all of the all of the shit. <laughs> my plans for the weekend: look at a few apartments, rooms, look at ads for bicycles, find my stolen bicycle in those ads. Your bike got fucking stolen, clueless. Seriously? Seriously? Why are you so shit out of luck all the time? Why? Why? And a no death run. Holy crap, that's really good. That's impressive. I played a bit of co-op Cuphead a few, like a couple years ago or something. But um, I didn't like complete. Oh, I didn't complete it or anything. But it was very fun. I don't really know why I didn't continue. I I would like to try it single player. I think because. Um, Seems like it offers a nice challenge 
in single player. Because in co-op, you can kind of... You can kind of revive each other indefinitely. You can just... One person dies, you revive them, and then the other person dies, so you revive them, and then the other person dies. So the risk-reward risk factor is a little bit reduced. Um. Oh my god! Why can't I not bounce on that? Twitch Kittens Raid? Really? What? Oh my gosh, I just got a raid just now, and then there's a Twitch Kittens Raid too. Hey, Phaedra, Black, Impish Thing, Faulty Code Gamer, Mousy S. Hello. Welcome, guys. That's so nice. That is lovely. Hey! Thank you for the follow, Mousy S. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. How's everyone doing today? Ah, thank you for the follow, impish thing. Sheesh. Everyone is so nice today. Twitch Kittens is a wonderful community for those of you who don't know about them. They're very big. A very big streamer community with lots of lovely people in it. So if you don't know them, do go check them out. And another raid? What? Hi, Luna. What? How does this never end? Hello, 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 everyone. Wow, this is this is too much. <laughs> hello, physics cat. Hello, hello, welcome. Hi, Luna and Raiders. What's up? I should have a Twitch kittens command. I'm sorry. I really should. I'm upset that I don't. If someone wants to post an invite link to the Twitch Kittens community, feel free to do that. Hey, Mio, me man! Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Another one, yeah. I just got like three raids in the last five minutes. One of them from Slayer. Here. Let's, let's shout out Slayer again, bro. And one of them from Twitch Kittens. And <laughs> one of them from you. Oh my goodness. Hello, hello, hello. Hanging out with my two year two and a half year old niece today, but had to share the TK love. Well, hello, Impish's two two and a half year old niece. That's such an adorable age. That is like a sickeningly adorable age. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid, Luna. I very much appreciate that. Luna's a great streamer, everyone. You should go check her out. You were streaming Hollow Knight. You were streaming Hollow Knight. We were just talking about Hollow Knight a little while ago. Uh, Polly was asking um, if if it's the kind of game you would enjoy if you're not a, if the uh, like if people enjoy it for the story and stuff, or if it's mostly for the gameplay. And such. Hi, DJ Pichu. So everyone who came in recently, welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, my name is Abby. And I stream a lot of different kinds of games. Currently, I'm streaming Celeste. And I recently started Mass Effect 3. Um, and I play like literally crazy amounts of games. I tend to focus maybe a bit on Metroidvanias, platformers, indie games, Zelda games, that kind of thing. Da, 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 da. Oh, rude. I beat up a moth? How could you? <laughs> How could you? <laughs> Why don't I remember a moth boss in Hollow Knight? I feel like if I think about it for a while, I'll remember the moth. Is it a boss? A moth boss? Ah! It's like on the tip of my brain <laughs> is this a boss okay that's cool i'll play this on my birthday i don't know why but i'm gonna do it i think you mentioned that before is it because you just want to be really miserable on your birthday but seriously though for anyone who's considering playing celeste and thinks it's too hard for them the lur <laughs> The learning curve in this game is very, very good, so you may not have to worry. 
Even if it looks very difficult, you kind of get used to it. I don't, I don't, like, obviously, what I'm doing right now is not evidence of that, but, uh, I'm actually playing some very difficult B-sides right now. They're like the kind of the difficult versions of the levels. Hey, Sevaskir, welcome into the raid. What's up? Thank you. Thank you for joining us. I did all B-sides. Nice. Yeah, I'm kind of working on that right now. I'm kind of working on doing all the... Whoops. All the B-sides. I'm only here because of Celeste. <laughs> that is fair. Celeste is a... Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. You see nothing. Hey there, Hexani. Or the... The Zanny? I don't know. After raid, raid! Well, I mean, you have to have an after raid after the raid, right? Like, that's... The after raid is where all the fun shit goes down, right? Excuse for being late, don't worry about it. Late people are awesome. Welcome. Oh no! <laughs> you failing is besides the point! Ha <laughs> ha! Ha, exactly. We don't need to talk about that. Fashionably late rates. This is amazing. You guys are so, so great. Thank you for being here. Ah! I should not have handled it that way. Hello, Sanzo! Welcome to the raid! <laughs> Welcome, guys. <laughs> Love this game, by the way. It's a wonderful, wonderful game. Have you played all the B-sides and things, too? In this B-side, I got about 1,000 deaths. I'm not sure where I could be right now, but I wouldn't be surprised if I do something similar, honestly. I've been dying a lot. The first section of it went pretty well, but then it went to shit. I have to get to the other side of that before I... I have to get to the other side. So that I can uh, kick its butt. No, that's not what I meant to do. Let's not talk about it. I haven't played too much yet. It's uh, it just gets better and better, in my opinion. There's some uh, we've had some very great conversations while we've played it um, about mental mental illness and things like that which is very thematic to it it's just wonderful the music is great the art is great the gameplay is fantastic i really highly recommend it and in 7b i got 2000 <laughs> butt spot don't be rude in seven butt i got 2000 okay i mean i guess 7b was a butt in that case But I mean, 7B is really getting up there in levels, so it's gonna be really hard, I bet. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Gotta go fast, so let's get harder and harder. It, it really does, yeah. The learning, the learning curve is excellent. It starts out at levels that anybody could do. You just have to kind of you just have to learn the feel of it, and then it ramps up slowly, so you feel like you're in control of it the whole time. I'm not sure how to do this! Thank you so much for the follow, Raven! White Raven. Appreciate it. Okay. I can do this! I can- not like that, but I can do it in a different way. This game is so cute, it's very cute. It's very cute. I recently watched a... Ow, rude. I recently watched a video of the behind the scenes. Oh, thank you for the host, Sansa. That's very nice of you. Um, of a behind, of like, um, the story of... of Celeste's 
development. And it started out apparently as a little, there's a little 8-bit game that you can find in in the game that looks quite uh, much more simplistic. And it apparently gained some traction with speedrunners. They really, really enjoyed the feel of it and it became popular with them. So they decided eventually that they wanted to turn it into a more comp complex and fully fledged game and uh, this is what this is what they made and then it became a giant success which is fantastic and well deserved i've just been chilling to the song for a while now okay crow don't have to rub it in that i've been dying a million times on this level so rude like yeah i know we've been here a while i get it <laughs> oh shit oh shit Chapter 9 came out as DLC a few days ago. Ah, oh, we were talking about that before. Apparently, it's... It's really difficult. It's really difficult. It's like, it's designed... Someone said it's designed for... Uh, like the top 0.5% of players. And that it requires some speedrunning tricks and things like that. I'm gonna try it, for sure, but I have no real faith that I'll be able to do it. I can't even do this! Or can I? No, I cannot. That, that answers that question. Great. Let's just go up here and watch me fail. Alright, cool. Maybe I can not die. Maybe if I don't die. I will save myself a death. Never mind. It's incredibly long and designed for speedrunners, basically. There aren't B-sides of Chapter 9, thankfully. That would, if it's that long and it's designed for speedrunners already, like, what more can they do to make it difficult at that point? So. But you make watching you fail so peaceful. <laughs> I'm glad it's relaxing for you. It's really, it's honestly... In most games, I would feel embarrassed and kind of stressed out to be streaming myself dying this many times. But um, this game, I get into zen dying mode. Oh, fuck. Oh, dear. You made a butching you fail so peaceful, Abby Butt Love. <laughs> it's one of the funkiest tunes yet. Yeah, this is a great song. I've literally been listening to this. I'll finish reading it once I die. Which will be soon. That was bad. Which was now. I've just been listening to the stream as background noise like a podcast with the best last OST. <laughs> uh, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. I don't take any credit for the soundtrack. I'm just here. <laughs> talking shit. Ah. <sighs> I can- I'm getting better. I am definitely getting better. Did you do this, uh, Luna? Luna was actually streaming Celeste until pretty recently, I think. Maybe it wasn't that recent, because I've been away on vacation, so time kind of stopped for me when I went away. And whatever people were doing before then feels very recent to me. <laughs> Not this B-side, no. But you did do some of the b-sides. Whoops. Alright. Let's focus up and kick this b-sides butt. Right? Yeah? Let's do it. Let's do it. Sound like a plan? Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, do it this time. First try. Let's go. Here we go. Just watch. Just watch. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. A 
Hey, I was close. Maybe I can avoid dying. Maybe I can do it this time. I did it! I avoided dying! That was too late. It's gonna spawn in front of me and kill me. Alright. Actually started streaming less B-sides only this week, so far I'm only at the second checkpoint of chapter two. That's fair. It took me, it took me like, uh, I did two B-sides in, in one stream, I think. Like it takes a fucking long time to do these B-sides and I tend to stream for like four hours or more. Ah, oh, crap. But I didn't have all the B-sides, so today I've been going back through the levels a little bit of looking for the B-sides. I found two of the ones I missed. Oh, I did it! <gasps> yes! No! I didn't pay attention! Fuck! Oh, I'm gonna go insane! <laughs> I'm so upset. I can do it this time though. Now I know I can do it, okay? I have proof. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> it's a nice experience to reach, as you say, death zen though. Yeah. Yeah, like Izzy was saying earlier, uh, purple eggshells, Izzy, um, was saying earlier that, that she would feel uh, awful about dying that many times on stream, but it really, you kind of just get used to it. <laughs> like, what can you do? <laughs> this is my life now. You guys just watch, just watch me die. It's okay. Just enjoy my pain. Ah, crap. So how are you liking uh, Hollow Knight so far, Luna? Have you gotten far? I wish I remembered that Lu uh, that uh, I was about to say that Luna boss that um, <laughs> which is essentially what it is, right? Um, what that boss is, I'd maybe have an idea of how far you are, but nope. Doo -doo -doo. I did it again. See, I told you I could do it. I told you I could do it. Yes. We could just get to move on to a new room where I will die repeatedly again. Yes. Isn't that exciting? You only have 6% of the game left officially, so you're at 94%. Do you have the uh, DLCs and things? Shit. Eight. Oh my God. Thank you. Ah. Okay, there I can use a dash. Yeah, I, I'm not sure exactly. You're at 106? That's really good then. So are you doing like the... Are you doing the... um? Pantheons and all that. I was still missing a few of the bosses that would have let me do the Pantheons. I did, uh, I could do the first one, but otherwise I didn't have them. I streamed the game for 70 hours. I'm doing one of the DLCs and I don't think I'll do the Pantheons on stream. Yeah, I didn't either. I think I tried the first one like once or twice. But then eventually I kind of got tired of streaming the game because I didn't have that much, that many things left to do in it. I had a few really difficult bosses left to do. Gosh darn it. And it was basically, my streams would just be 
trying very difficult bosses over and over again for four hours. <laughs> And I didn't have the patience for that, and I don't think my chat did either. Whoops. Imagine having a few difficult things left in a game you're streaming. Yeah. I can't... I don't know. I have definitely not had that experience since then. I mean, what game would offer that? <laughs> not as regular thing, anyway. Hollow Knight ain't dead then, that's for sure. That's for sure. I was uh, trying the um, Grim Troop boss, like the, fi the final boss of the Grim Troop, so many times. So many times. I, I this is not even that difficult. Why am I failing? Why am I failing? D-pad, listen to me. D-pad? D-pad? I, I, I don't think you understand. Gotta run another storm coming. Have a great rest of stream, Abby. Bye, all. Bye, Booyah. Stay safe in the storm. Hope everything is, is fine and that you don't like lose power or anything shitty happens. Am I right? Am I right? Can I have a <laughs> from the chat, please? Thank you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Luna. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, bro. What is that? Oh, it's the flag. I was like, what's that coming out of the wall? Creepy as balls. I screwed myself over there for no reason. Okay, the wind stopping suddenly is just mean. Okay, then. Oh shit, I needed the front wind for that. Ah, balls are creepy. I think we all know that testicles are creepy, Clueless. Oh dear. I think, I think we all know that. Hey, Zeno, welcome back. Are you off work now? Ah, oh. Apparently I'm just at that point in my stream where everything is going to be <laughs> I'm just trying to stay alive. I am annoyed. I am trying to unwind and de-stress. How's it going? I'm glad you're home, Zeno. I hope you managed to get a peaceful evening. My hands hurt from watching you play this long. My hands are okay. My my uh, pointer and thumb on my left hand are a little achy. <laughs> but it's like a dull ache that you kind of just for, forget about. Like you do, I don't notice it. As long as I'm holding the controller, I don't notice it. What was that? Oh! What? What? You can, uh, I hope maybe watching me die a lot again can help you de-stress, you know. The music is so cool! And if uh, watching me die doesn't help you de-stress, maybe uh, listening to this awesome soundtrack will. Or talking to all the awesome people in chat, some of which are new from a couple raids. So anyone who's stuck around after the raids, thank you so much for being here. I hope you like watching me be terrible at Celeste. Oh dear. Uh, 
Oh shit, bad idea. Oh, I saved it. It's fine. So, what's the most relaxing thing you can think of, Zeno? Do you have any, like, go-to de-stressing things? Do you, like, take a beer, eat nice food, watch Abby streams? Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Took, like, two seconds to get the rhythm of this on the organ. That's how long it's been- shut up! It's been two seconds? It's been two, two whole seconds already? Two whole- wow. Time. Time really flies. Uh. It's already been said, no terrible gameplay. Only nice podcast with Celeste soundtrack! Exactly. Exactly. No, no terrible- I thought it was gonna go the other way. No terrible gameplay here. Avert your eyes. Oh sh! Avert your eyes. This is. This is for. Very mature audiences only. Only people who have lived at least like a thousand years and seen many gruesome wars and uh, kept your mental health intact through it all. Oh shit! Only those people. Everyone else use it as a podcast. Ah! Oh! Crap. <laughs> Probably go out to get some ice cream, smoke a bit, watching Beverly Hills Cop. That sounds great. That sounds great. Mint chocolate chip! Dude. There's no mint chocolate chip ice cream in Norway. Well, not that I've found. Not in my town. Which is awful, because it was my favorite ice cream when I lived in America. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong way! I did it! <laughs> Yay! Time to move. I really should, yeah. There are uh, <laughs> many good reasons to move. There are many things that don't exist here. I wouldn't be able to choose between mint chocolate chip and straub. I mean, Celeste straubs are obviously their priority. That's what obsessed me about the B-sides, that there aren't any straubs in the B-sides. I just want to collect straubs! Oh dear. Oh dear. The pink clouds mean they disappear after one bounce, so that's gonna be fun. Okay, that's gonna be really fun. And that one doesn't look like I should use the bounce properly, bounce properly because then I'll hit the spikes. So I'll have to like use the little bounce to get over and then dash to get up there. I don't know. We'll see. And then bounce over there and then bounce all weirdly around there oh my goodness ah oh, it's gonna be rough that's gonna be real rough got this hell yeah I would have a harder time choosing between mint chocolate chip and cookie dough but as it stands right now yeah definitely don't want to do that as it stands right now, I would choose mint chocolate chip because I haven't had it. In way too long! That'd be nice. I wish it was easy to deliver ice cream across countries, right? Right? Even got the right sound effect now. Wait, what? Don't talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me, don't leave me. Da, da, da. Ah! For this, for the song. The route sound effect for what? Ma! Okay. 
Alright, alright, alright. Alright, 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 alright. Wait, why am I not bouncing properly? I needed to not use my dash there, alright. Okay. I mean, I want to say something, but I need you to not take it the wrong way. You're great. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Mocker. I was going to say back at you, but I feel like that's taking it the wrong way. Okay, what? Mocker, you brighten my day. What does the bee person thing do at the beginning of the map? The bee person? Ah, shit. I keep using the dash just automatically. Whoops. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, this, this thing. Okay, this is. Uh, this lets me look at the entire map, like that. I didn't even look all the way. Crap. Whoops. I should have looked at least at all of it. All right. I think that looks pretty manageable. Something about the weather. I'm passing out hard at my desk. Really? Why so tired? Something about the weather. Why so tired? Something about the weather. Why so tired? Seventy-seven Fahrenheit and nice. What time is it for you? Let me think. Nine hours earlier than it is for me, so that makes it three p.m. Oh snap! See? People who live on the west coast, I can do. I can actually, I can actually do the east coast easily too because I know it's six hours. Anything in between that? Don't ask. Ah, <laughs> oh, I keep doing that. Ah, uh, it's not good. It's not good. What's up a hammock for Mocker? <laughs> Very comfortable to a sleepy state almost. That's good. That's I, I, it's nice to be that way sometimes, isn't it? Just like those super comfy. I keep doing it! I'm so upset. Like uh, one of my favorite childhood memories is honestly but I did it again! Because honestly, when we came home from hiking, we would always like hike the week over the weekends. And um And when we got in the car after hiking and drove home, just like that tired super comfortable, tired, peaceful feeling that I got after that. And knowing that I would like go home and we would have like really nice food. And I would probably like play some Sims or something. <laughs> that was like the best, the best feeling and I still remember it. It was just so good. I don't know if I know how to do this. I mean, there I obviously have to like bounce and then just navigate through the spikes without dashing or anything. And then dash to the bubble at the bottom. But that's really hard. It's the way I the way I bounce on the cloud has to be perfect. I have to get the maximum height. And I need to start 
pressing right immediately as soon as I get above the spikes. Ugh, it's hard. Hammock would knock me out. We have a hammock stand. I have a... In my uh, bedroom in Sweden, I used to have a hammock. Um, have a hammock stretched across the, the room. One of those where you can like swing properly. I had such good times as a kid swinging on my hammock indoors. And I have a picture of like when we first moved to Sweden from uh, America of me just being totally passed out with jet lag in the hammock curled up. in like a beam of sunlight so peaceful hammock in like 75 to 82 sunny weather is perfection it is so lovely this time and just after snowboarding are when i get the most sleepy all of a sudden i mean after snowboarding makes sense i keep doing that i'm so upset i've wasted so many deaths just on dashing there before i need to Just a second. Okie dokie. Snowboarding, can you be like more cool? <laughs> They're not that good, but I like it. It's, snowboarding seems really fun, I've never been. Deaths, you say? Yeah. At least three of my one million deaths came from that particular spot. I need to time the bounce there better. Much better. I've snowboarded a hole twice. It was very meh. I, I imagine it's the kind of thing where you're not, if you're not very good at it. When you're new to it, it's probably not gonna be Nearly as- how the fuck? Nearly as fun. How the fuck do you do that? Try snow snowboarding once, was terrible at it. Years of hockey got me trained to use both feet. Skiing is my jam. I tried snowboarding once, was terrible at it. Years of hockey butted me, trained to use both butts. A butt is my jam. Okay. Okay, butt spot, thanks. How? What? I seriously don't understand how to do that part! Find it more simple than skiing. Harder to start, but easier to be better at. Okay. Snowboarding looks more fun to me than skiing. Skiing is okay. I've never really done like, like proper downhill skiing that much. I've mostly done like cross country skiing. Which is weird since I'm Scandinavian. Ah! Shit! But, like, I lived in California, except in the summers, so, like. I'm upset! All I comfort myself with is that it has to be possible! I almost did it! Shit, Cali has great skiing. Yeah, but I was like in San Diego all the time or in the camping in the desert and that's it. Ah, I'm getting closer. Hey, Reggie. What's up? Just not in San Diego. I like snowboarding. But my favorite part of snowboarding is when you are done and take off your boots and sit by a fire. Oh man. I think that's true of all snow sports. I think physical activity, cold weather, shit, I fucked it up. Um, I got it though. I know I can't now. 
There's something special about cold weather physical activity and then getting warm afterwards. If it's by like an indoor fire or a bonfire, whatever. Squeak of loss. <laughs> Add to that a spiked hot cider or hot chocolate. Mm, lovely. Ah, damn it. I can do it now. I've uh, figured each, whoops. <laughs> I've figured each part out. Now it's just time to start trying to do each of them par flawlessly and failing something stupid each time. I'm upset. That was going so well. Let's just look at this very end part now that I've figured everything else out. Just double check. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I probably have to use a dash up there. Not necessarily. I don't know. Maybe. I'll see. Nice cigar by a fire. I have never smoked a cigar. I don't think I will. It's not the kind of thing I want to get a develop a taste for. I did it! Fuck! Finally! <laughs> yes! Hype! Finally! Wow. Um, now what? Okay, what? At first I wondered if I have to maybe go to the far right and get up through there first. Oh, I see how to do it. I see how to do the first one. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm, maybe. I should probably say how to do all of them. Hmm. First one I got. The second one, the third one I can obviously get. And I'm wondering if I have to just dash over to the one over there, but then how do I not die once I'm over there. <laughs> Verb, okay. Um, I figure I have to go to the right one at least, right? I have to get up to the right one and then take it from there. First one is easy now. Ish. I really understand how you can rack up a thousand deaths for this. Really. I think I just have to dash upwards there.
Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, dokey, dokey. Hence, easy-ish. <laughs> what? Uh, up. I just have to dash straight up at the right time and not do that. And not do that. Dash diagonally. They must have worked hard on the death animation for uh, Celeste. Because to make this game not torturous, the death animation has to be kind of. in a way that doesn't make your spirit die, you know? <laughs> It has to be quick. It has to be kind of not too painful. The quick respawn is definitely the key. But I'm sure a lot of thought went into the uh, actual animation of the. There's fucking more of them. God damn it! There are more of them. Plus a nice symbol. Yeah, like. It's like a whole psychological thing, I'm sure. That took some. Ex some serious experimentation, I imagine. I did it! Yeah, I still don't understand that. I don't understand it. <laughs> The only thing I can imagine is... Is here. Let me try it. Music, artwork, gameplay all looks amazing. It is all amazing. I think I do have to go at it. Whoops! From uh, below. I just had to do that! No! I Okay, well at least I figured it out. We're good. We are good. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's why I can't... Like Super Meat Boy, that's why I can't get into the hard Mario Maker levels. Oh! Is the respawn in Mario Maker not good enough? That's uh, very unfortunate. That's such an unfortunate reason for something to not be... Um, truly playable in the long run, you know? It's probably too easy to want to design a, like, fun fun artistic death animation and sound and stuff when uh, something shorter and snappier is really better. You have to watch a long death animation or restart the level yourself. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, why can't I time the spot where I dash there? Properly. probably just dash straight upwards. I've been trying to dash diagonally. I don't remember what I did before. I feel like I dashed diagonally before. Great thing with a quick respawn is less is you get into this weird muscle memory rhythm. Exactly! That's what I mean. It's like... I, I imagine such a simple thing that you don't even think about must have been 
extremely carefully designed. It always is, right? Those those little things that you don't really think about. That just means that it's very well designed. Like I haven't even like noticed the death animation much until now that I just happen to think about it. Uh, uh, gave my best shot, but I still haven't watched a whole Abby stream. <laughs> Gotta sleep, you got this, I'm sure. This one turned out longer than most of them do. So I kind of screwed you over there. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out this long, though. You stuck around for a very long time. It's been fun. And thank you for your help. I hope you have a good night. Oh, dear. Really took a lot of care with this game. One of the biggest issues that can play games is playing them for extended periods. Finding those gems that after hours, days, deaths, you're still enjoying it is so fun. Absolutely. Absolutely. And especially in a game like this where you die a lot. So much. And you retry the same little sections over and over again. And then once you progress, you again get stuck at the same section. To pull that off in a way that isn't just, that doesn't just wear you down and make you frustrated after a short amount of time is just very impressive. There's definitely something to be said for it. Ah! God damn it. For the learning curve as well. Because you always. You never really feel. Like something is out of your depth. For a little bit at first, but if you stick with it for a little while, you start to feel like everything is manageable. It's not like they give you impossible challenges. Maybe in the ninth chapter they do. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry if I broke your ears. I think it was warranted though. A little bit of ear breaking at a time like that. If I had just kept clinging to it, it would have been great. Hey there, CEO Cadelic. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. I hope you're doing very well this Friday evening or whatever time of day. Ah, balls. Abby, please, I only have one. <laughs> Fucking hell, Crow, we get it. You're half deaf. That's uh, an inside joke, guys. Uh, I'm not being a total asshole. And the inside joke is essentially just, I said that once because I'm an asshole. That's the inside joke. And then I quoted it in his chat because I'm an asshole. <laughs> uh, I try my best to good make a good, in good impression. <laughs> Thank you, Sio. I appreciate it. It's a joke! I mean, it's funny because crows actually have death. It's hilarious. Ha ha ha. Okay. I can do this. Why am I starting to die there now? I didn't even see what happened there. I thought I pressed diagonally and was holding left trigger so it should have worked, but I guess I wasn't. <gasps> Why? It kind of is in games with terrible sound design. Wait, what is? 
What's the- wait, being half deaf is a joke? Or what do you mean? Yeah. Oh, I fucking imagine. I did it! I'm gonna cry! <laughs> I'm gonna cry! I did it! Finally! <laughs> that was so hard. Oh my god, I don't need this wind. <laughs> That's to be expected. If Crow had hearing in both ears, he'd just be too awesome. Exactly. Exactly. I just... I'm, uh... <laughs> I'm just bringing him, in, in bringing him down a peg. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I fucking hate that saying. It's stupid. Stupid and bullshit. Don't ever use that as an excuse, people. Be nice to people, except when they're crow. In which case, um, insult him jokingly all the time. I need to be taken down a peg or a million. Yeah, because you're so arrogant. And that's why I'm friends with you, because I like all my friends super arrogant. It's my favorite trait. Here, Crow, this will cheer you up. Wow. Yeah, everyone give Crow cheese. He deserves it. Everyone throw cheese at Crow. He deserves cheese. Oh, and can everybody do the exclamation mark Crow? Everybody, all at once, exclamation mark crow. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I feel terrible. <laughs> I don't feel terrible for crow. I feel terrible for the people I tricked into being jerks. <laughs> I'm sorry. We love Crow. We really do. He's really a wonderful person. Everyone, everyone appreciate him. Oh shit. At least my name calling was softened by cheese giving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Luna. <laughs> you could give it to someone else. Yeah, he gives it to his parents. Give it to your parents. So you can get ten hearts with your parents. Actually, you can only get eight hearts with your parents unless you like try to romance them, which would be very strange, so don't do that. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm sorry for being so deeply inappropriate all the time, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it's late. I've been streaming for like six hours and I've been dying the whole time. Okay. Cut me some slack. <laughs> Oh shit. <clears throat> it's cool, I just use headphones. <laughs> you have to use headphones when you're watching my streams. Yogg actually doesn't. He watches my streams at work. He works at a community college. And he doesn't wear headphones when he watches my streams. Is Abby still mocking the handicapped? <laughs> Hi, Para. I'm always mocking the handicaps. <laughs> God damn it. There are new people in my chat today, guys. <laughs> They're gonna get a completely accurate... Accurate perception of what my stream is like. Why would you do this to me? 
How are you doing today, Vera? Fuck. Okay. I really like this. This is really fun. This is really fun with the bubbles. And then I keep doing that. Oh no! A showcase of the experience they should frequently expect! <laughs> There's nothing worse than that! That's the worst thing that could have happened! Today of all days! Today of all days, the same thing that happens every day ha is happening. Why? The wind stops that that shit that it did that on purpose just to spite me for the new people just saying there may or may not some, be some very awesome Abby clips to check out on the discord server <laughs> can someone do the discord command please we do have fun on the discord we actually have a community night coming up this weekend but I haven't prepared for it at all or like made any announcements so no one knows it's happening but that's fi that's fine. It's still gonna be fun. I mean, people don't have things planned for Saturday nights, right? It's not like you need to tell people in good time about things that are happening. Oh, that was so mean. Never asked, did you fall asleep during Starfinder? <laughs> did you? That's hilarious. I mean, what else would you do during Starfinder? Have a shit ton of fun? Nah. I'm trying and failing at many things, mainly not paying attention to politics. Oh, I'm sorry. That's hard. That's hard. I did it, guys! Did you see? Did you see? Did you see? That's the whole reason I'm streaming, so you guys can see when I when I did it. <laughs> I hope you saw. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm super late, but hey, Cora, you've been here before. I remember you. Thank you for joining the raid. How are you doing? How are things? TK raid! I mean, it's still ongoing. It's fine. We're still going. This is the after after raid. And the after after raid is when the real fun starts. I missed it. Go back and do it again. Ha 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 ha. Funny. Last thing I remember, we got to our hotel and I went to bed. You guys do nothing else. You wanted me to drive somewhere, I think. Did you did you just abandon them? Right as they needed you to drive. Terrible designated driver. Do 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 do. So I'll have to jump up there while the wind is blowing. And then I'll have to jump up there. And then I'll have to use a dash to get to that. And then I'll use that to get over there. And then I'll, I, I'll, I'll hopefully be able to do it. We'll see. I just came from, the gro from grocery shopping. Been in the sun pulling my daughter in a wagon carrying groceries. Ah, oh. Dude, I bet you're hot. That sounds... That sounds kind of awful. <laughs> You have to go inside and cool down with some streams now, right? Maybe get yourself a cold drink. Is your daughter at an age where she like is where she's really hard to uh, keep quiet? Oh crap! Bought myself a smoothie. Nice. She's four. Ah, uh, had someone with a kid. Um, that was two and a half in here earlier. Four is a great age. I literally said the same thing to the person with a two and a half year old, but okay, they can all be great ages, okay? 
do 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 At least it must be nice to be home, right? Oh, I almost I almost did it. <clears throat> so I'm playing uh Celeste. I'm doing some of the really difficult uh, versions of the levels and they're kicking my butt. I'm dying so many times. Oh no! <laughs> I don't know, my niece is like five months and she's weird. So that means that uh, no other, no ages are good. Do you love your niece, Crow? Crap. Crow, her liking cheese doesn't make her weird. <laughs> I hope they're not feeding cheese to a five month old. Unless it's like breast milk cheese, but let's not talk about that. That sounds strange. Because she's related to you. <laughs> Ew, Abby, what? <laughs> what? We were just establishing that we talk about the weirdest things on the stream. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> breast milk ice cream. I have soap made out of my breast milk. You do, really? Wow. But does but does breast milk soap make you cleaner than non-breast milk soap? And also, what gave you the idea to make breast milk soap? <laughs> Why? Is it just because you had so much left that you had to just make everything out of breast milk? You just lived lived and breathed breast, breast milk for a while. They make goat milk soap. Oh, do they really? It was online we can do with leftover. Ah, that's interesting. I had no idea they make goat milk soap. Why? Is it like a... Is it like it replaces the fat? that you need for the soap, or whatever. That's interesting. Ah, I keep getting up there too early. It's good for your skin. Okay, I can imagine that. I mean, if it's the stuff that completely nourishes a newborn baby for a long time after they're born, then I imagine it has some good stuff in it. I did it! Finally! Chocolate nip ice cream! <laughs> okay, so what else can you do with leftover breast milk? I mean, I understand that, like, it must feel shitty to for it to go to waste. Yes! Golden feather! I did it! I would have to look into it again. So you didn't do anything else interesting with it? As interesting as this topic is, it's also very educational. Yeah! I don't think it's a weird topic at all, really. I think it's the kind of thing we need to talk about more. I feel like there's a tendency in our society to kind of feel like ev ev any <clears throat> Anything that pertains to women exclusively, especially their bodily functions, gets perceived as a much more gross and off-limits as a conversation topic than anything else, and it's bullshit. Like, there's nothing more unpleasant about talking about breast milk than about talking about any other bodily function. And it's really fucked up how <clears throat> breastfeeding and breast milk and all are so kind of how they're treated by people. It's crap. We need to normalize these things. It's important. Okay. So I ended up at 490 deaths. 
Um, but did you know that women are icky <laughs> in this essay? <laughs> I will explain to you the five icky factors of women. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> One, they have cooties. Okay. Two, I'm an immature piece of shit. <laughs> Ew. Two, milk. All right. Um, I'm going to cut it here for today, you guys. This has been an, a wonderful stream. I've had so much fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I have definitely enjoyed it. Thank you so much for all the raids today from Slayer. Let's shout out Slayer. Crow, do you want to do shout outs? Uh... Got a shout out Slayer for the raid and Luna for the raid and a big giant thank you to Twitch Kittens for the raid. You guys are awesome. And for those of you who stuck around, thank you. And for those of you who followed, thank you. You're great. I got some bits today. Thank you guys for the bits. And uh, Polly's resub and Courant with the raid. You guys are just... I'm blown away. So supportive and nice, and I appreciate you. I hope lots of people will stick around for future silliness. <laughs> There's lots of silliness to be had, that's for sure. <laughs> lots and lots of silliness. I'm, I've been... I've started to play this game every Friday. Um, because I only have the quite difficult things left, so I kind of want to um, not play it very, very frequently. So, uh, I'm playing Mass Effect 3 and I'm playing Night in the Woods currently. So, Mass Effect 3 will be on Mondays and Thursdays. And Night in the Woods is on Tuesdays. And you can always join my Discord there if you so wish. And I do have a Twitter, which I don't really use very interestingly, but you can always jo follow it if you wish. Um, let's find someone to pass this. Wonderful love onto this great good group of people we got in here. So let's let's send the love to someone. Let's send the love to somebody cool. Who shall we send it to today? Who shall we send it to today? Da ba 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 da. Maybe... Uh, Rotten Peppy. Let's send it to her. She's she's wonderful. She's a wonderful person. Truly. So let's go and uh, do that. I have a raid message here. Go ahead and copy the, the sub version on top if you're a sub. Or the bleed purple version. If not. And uh, I hope you guys have a great night. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you all again. Take care. Goodbye. Good night. Have a good night, Mocker. Gosh darn it. Bye.